consistently offers unparalleled service and quality tires to fit every budget because you customer are always a top priority at fleet tire point s so come by today and experience the fleet tire point s difference no stress with point s live from tucker coliseum in russellville it's time for arkansas tech wonder boys basketball tonight arkansas tech hosts the southern nazarene crimson storm in great american conference action here on river country kcjc Good evening, friends. My name is Sam Streisner. Thank you for joining us. Kelly Davis will be along in just a few minutes. The Wonder Boys are 7-5 and five overall and 5-1 five and one in the GAC. They have won seven of their last eight games, including a 2-0 and o road trip to Oklahoma last week. Victories at Southeastern Oklahoma State and East Central put Arkansas Tech into a tie for second place in the league standings coming into this week. The only team in front of the Wonder Boys in the GAC is tonight's opponent, Southern Nazarene. The Crimson Storm is 10-2 and two overall and 6-0 and oh in league play. Southern Nazarene has won eight consecutive games, and the Crimson Storm is coming in hot. They made 21 three-pointers and shot 50% from beyond the arc while recording wins over Washita Baptist and Henderson State last week. Thank you for joining us from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We will pause for one minute and then come back with the starting lineups. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Mr. Break and Lube, your local Pennzoil 10-minute oil change super stop at 1415 East Main Street has more than just oil. They also carry for your air conditioning R1234A Freon for newer vehicles and R134 for the older vehicles. Plus, brakes and tires so you can travel safely. So visit your local one-stop maintenance shop you can count on at 1415 East Main Street. And follow Mr. Break and Lube on Facebook to keep up with monthly specials. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling for the 2022 school year with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info, and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person, or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. Folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air want to take a moment not only to thank you for your business. These are the starters for the 21st all-time men's basketball meeting between these two institutions of higher learning. First for our guests from Bethany, Oklahoma, the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm, 10-2 and two overall, 6-0 and oh in the GAC. Adam Bohach in his 15th season at Southern Naz has a record of 295 and 143. Starting at the guards, Jalen Lynn, six foot senior, Collierville, Tennessee, 4.5 points, 2.1 rebounds. Ian Moat, six foot sophomore, Austin, Texas, 5.5 points, 1.1 rebounds. Tyler McGuy, 6'5", sophomore, Denton, Texas, 15.9 points, four rebounds. 1.1 steals, and Javon Jackson, 6'3", freshman, Houston, Texas, 14.5 points, 3.8 rebounds, 1.3 steals. The center for Southern Nazarene is Nick Davis, a 6'9", junior from Arlington, Texas, 11.3 points, 7.6 rebounds, and 1.2 blocked shots per game. Now the starters for the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys. Seven and five overall, five and one in the Great American Conference. Mark Downey in his seventh season at Arkansas Tech, one of four head coaches to lead the Wonder Boys to 100 or more all-time wins. Downey's record at Arkansas Tech is 101 and 77. His record in 16 seasons as a head coach overall is 267 and 183. Nathan Kennedy is the assistant coach, and the staff is filled out by Marcus Pillow and Brent Bennett. Starting at the guards, Deshaun Davidson, six foot three senior, Waukegan, Illinois, 4.8 points, 2.3 rebounds. Andre Lavelle, 6'2 sophomore, Canton, Ohio, 10 points, 4.6 rebounds, and three assists per game. Taylon Peter, a 6'4 sophomore from Russellville, 14.9 points, 5.3 rebounds, 
1.9 steals. And the forwards for Arkansas Tech, Tommy, Tommy Camerad, 6'8", sophomore, Buford, Georgia, 5.2 points, 3.1 rebounds. And Nico Gosnell, a 6'9", senior from Lone Tree, Iowa, 9 points, 3.6 rebounds, and one block shot per game. Those are the starters for the Wonder Boys and the Crimson Storm back with the opening tip in 30 seconds. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, this is Wonder Boys Basketball. Folks in Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air, I'd like to take a moment not only to thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family full house comfort. Every kind word that you put online and personal recommendation to your friends and family is appreciated. Customers like you are not only vital to their business, but vital to making our community as great as it is. From their family to yours, Thank you. From Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. Casey, Jason, Darknell, Russell, Bill. Play the best country of all. River Country. Casey, Casey. Back with you at the Alathus Realty broadcast position at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville, where the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys come in, having won seven of their last eight. Southern Nazarene has won eight in a row. The Crimson Storm, the first GAC men's basketball team to start 6-0 and in league play since Southern Nazarene did it back in the 2017-2018 season. Southern Nazarene 12-8 and all time against Arkansas Tech. The Crimson Storm has won the last five meetings between these two programs, including a 61-57 win in Bethany and a 61-55 win here in Russellville last season. The last time the Wonder Boys defeated Southern Nazarene was on January 10th of 2019, when the Wonder Boys won 85 to 74. On that night, it was Will Adler with 20 points and seven rebounds. Ramses Sandifer had 19 points and five rebounds. And RJ Glasper had 18 points, six rebounds and seven assists to lead the Wonder Boys to that win four years and two days ago. And now the Wonder Boys trying to beat Southern Nazarene for the first time since then. And as we referenced with Coach Downey at the or our pregame interview at halftime of the women's game. These are the top two scoring defenses in the conference. You heard the scores from last year. It only took about 60 points to win both games last year. And if Southern Nazarene has its way in terms of controlling tempo, we'll see a similar type game here tonight. Yeah, I think you're right. You're going to see a lot, a lot of defense like Coach Downey. That's, that's what he's known for, his coaching abilities is on the defensive side. You know, and if he can get one or two scores in a season, you know, it's going to be a good year. The Crimson Storm wearing the road black uniforms trimmed in crimson and white. The Wonder Boys wearing the home whites trimmed in green and gold. And the Crimson Storm wins the opening tap into the front court on the dribble comes Ian Moat. Injuries have been a huge story for Southern Nazarene. We'll talk about that as the evening unfolds. Top of the key, Nick Davis with the basketball. Passes right wing for Moat. Moat had a career-high 15 points against Henderson on Saturday. Three-pointer no good for Magai. And Taylor Peter has the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Andre Lavelle into the front court. Andre averaging 14.8 points per game over his last five. He has 11 assists in his last two ball games. Drive by Deshaun Davidson. Ten-foot jumper is short, no good. And Nick Davis clears the defensive rebound. Davis third in the league in rebounding at 7.6 per game. Ian Moat into the front court on the dribble for Southern Nazarene. Moat in his second year with the Crimson Storm. During his 36th game, making just his third start here tonight, they have lost a lot of people, a lot of very talented people to injury as this year has gone along. Nick Davis backs Nico Gosnell down, misses the left-handed shot in the lane, and Taylor Peter again with the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Into the front court come the Wonder Boys. Tommy Camerad throws it out to Andre Lavelle. High ball screen set by Gosnell. Lavelle drives, double teams, now he loses the handle and it's stolen by Javon Jackson. The talented freshman in transition, layup, no good. Whistle blocking foul on Deshaun Davidson. Davidson's first is the team's first. It'll be two free throws for Javon Jackson, who averaged 19 points per game his senior year in high school at C.E. King High School in Houston, Texas. Steps to the free throw line, averaging 18.7 points per game since he became a starter back on December the 10th. First try up and no good for Jackson. Jackson on the season, a 76% free throw shooter. The reason he is a starter is because Adokie Iaia has been out since December 19th, 
for Southern Nazarene. Xavier Bryant has been out since December 17th. And Manny Dixon has been out since December 3rd. Those are three regular starters for Southern Nazarene. that They've been without, in some cases, now for over a month. One out of two at the free throw line for Jackson. One nothing lead for Southern Nazarene. Deshaun Davidson can't finish the layup. And the defensive rebound is cleared by Southern Nazarene. Pressure in the backcourt. Ian Moat tracks down a loose ball. He needs to make some progress on the timeline. And he didn't make it. Did not make it over ahead of the 10-second count. Turnover Southern Nazarene. And the Wonder Boys will have it trailing 1 to nothing with 18-14 to go in the first half. Well, it's pressure defense right there. Shot clock right now says 20. It needs to say 30. That's going to be a problem here in a second. Inbound pass for Andre Lavelle. Lavelle goes left. Defended by Jalen Lynn, the transfer from UAPB in his second year at Southern Nazarene. Tommy Camerad wants to drive, gives to Lavelle on the left wing. Andre drives, left-handed layup is no good. Tip try by Gosnell, wouldn't go. Lavelle gets the offensive rebound, throws it out to Peter for three, count it. A Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer from the top of the key for Taylor Peter, his 24th of the season, and the Wonder Boys lead 3-1. to one. Now a foul taken in the backcourt by Arkansas Tech, or was it? Heard a whistle and looked up looking. Yeah, there was shot clock or something. I don't know. Could have been could have been a clock situation. 17.45 to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech 3, Southern Nazarene 1. Inbound pass out near midcourt for Nick Davis. Davis averaging 14.4 points and 8.4 rebounds over his last five. He's put this Southern Nazarene team on his back in the face of all their injury problems. Ian Moat reverses it right side for Jalen Lynn. Lynn dribbles right, gets a high ball screen from Davis. Lynn down the right, I should say Javon Jackson down the right side of the lane, and he's called for traveling as he lost his pivot foot, and the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. 17-24 to go first half. Wonder Boys lead 3-1. to one. Yeah, You talk about all these injuries, but they're still 10-2 and two and 6-0 and in conference. They've managed to That's overcome. Deep bench. Drive by Lavelle, throws it out left wing for Taylor Peter. Peter goes right, draws a double team, kicks it out to Davidson. Deshaun goes right. Deshaun goes left. Throws it out to Peter. Right wing three. Too strong. Rebound Ian Moat of Southern Nazarene. Crimson Storm the other way. Rebounds are even at three apiece in the early going. Southern Nazarene 0 for 2 from the field with two turnovers. Right wing Jalen Lynn on the dribble. Lynn averaging six points per game over his last three. He's five out of nine from three-point range over that span. Hand off for Magai. A guy gives it right back to Javon Jackson. Jackson drives baseline, gets to the cup, and makes the layup. We're tied at 3, 16.36 to go in the first half. Javon Jackson has all three of the Crimson Storm points. Top of the key, Andre Lavelle. Gets a high ball screen from Gosnell. Drives, got a little messy, managed to keep the basketball. Goes to the left block, draws a double team, throws it out opposite wing for Peter. Peter dumps it in for Gosnell. Gosnell works on Nick Davis, draws a double team, and the help defender, Ian Moat, commits the foul. Moat's first is the team's first, and the Wonder Boys will throw it in from the baseline. In for Southern Nazarene is Mo Wilson, a six foot five graduate forward from Oklahoma City in his fifth year with the Crimson Storm program. For Arkansas Tech, Deshaun Davidson is out, and B.J. Johnson is in. Johnson, a 6'3 sophomore guard from El Dorado, averaging 4.8 points per game. Layup try by Andre Lavelle, no good. Defensive rebound by Mo Wilson. Southern Nazarene into the front court. We've played almost four minutes in Russellville, and the score's tied at three. Southern Naz won the women's game 77-70 to in overtime. Javon Jackson, they tried to run a blitz at him, then thought better of it. Bounce pass into the post for Nick Davis. Davis, double teamed, maintains his pivot foot. Drives, reverse layup, and a beauty for Nick Davis. He lays it up and in, 15.42 to go in the half. Southern Nazarene leads 5-3. Nick Davis gets his first two points. Andre Lavelle takes the pick from Gosnell. Penetrates, pass deflected, able to save it. Camerad, Tommy dribbles right, got fouled, missed the 12-footer, but he'll shoot two free throws when we come back. 15-27 to go in the first half. Southern Nazarene 5, Arkansas Tech 3. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we take a one-minute break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at A Better Way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. 
Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at A Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with A Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A Better Way Realty. Real estate done a better way. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at C&D Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need C&D Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60-year tradition. Kelly Davis will keep an eye on the GAC men's basketball scores for us as the evening unfolds. I'll tell you what, with the, uh, the women's going into overtime, we should be able to give you all finals tonight. 341 left in the first half. It's Harding 22, Oklahoma Baptist 26. Southern Arkansas trailing East Central 11 to 10. UA Monticello and Southeastern tied at 10. Henderson State one point better than Northwest 15 to 14. And Southwest Oklahoma and Ouachita, either they have started and got a miscommunication or they have not started yet. We'll see. Tommy Comerad at the free throw line for Arkansas Tech following the first media timeout of the game. He made the first one, missed the second one, and Nick Davis got the foul, the, the, the rebound, I should say. The foul that sent Comerad to the free throw line was committed by Wilson of Southern Nazarene. Mo Wilson picking up his first personal foul, team foul number two. Southern Nazarene with the basketball on a 5-4 to four lead. It's 15.09 to go in the first half. Now a steal by Andre Lavelle. Lavelle on the run out, goes down the left side of the lane. Numbers weren't there. Gets it back from Peter. Lavelle shoots for three. It is no good from the left wing. Comrade tips the rebound. Wes Harris almost got it, but instead it's Javon Jackson out there with the loose ball for Southern Nazarene. You heard the name Wes Harris, a six foot seven junior forward from Phoenix, Arizona, into the game for the Wonder Boys, averaging 11.2 points, 6.2 rebounds, and 1.4 block shots per game. Feed into the push for Nick Davis. Double team throws it out to the open man. Three pointer, no good for Jalen Lynn. And the Wonder Boys take it the other way. Five to four, Southern Nazarene leads. 14-28 to go until halftime. Dalen Peter, defended on the left wing by Southern Nazarene's Tyler McGuy. Now a steal by Javon Jackson. Jackson goes to the rim and lays it in. Live ball turnover leads to an easy two for Javon Jackson. Jackson has five points. 14-11 to go in the half. Southern Nazarene leads seven to four. Hand off on the right wing for B.J. Johnson. Johnson guarded by Mo Wilson. Throws it out to the top of the key for Taylor Peter. Now a handoff to Andre Lavelle. He goes right, passes to B.J. Johnson. Johnson dribbles left. Bounce pass for Wes Harris. Double team, shot rejected, out of bounds. A little head and shoulders fake there. Might have gone a long way for Wes. Instead, he's blocked out of bounds, and the Wonder Boys will maintain possession with nine on the shot clock. Wonder Boys make some changes as Comrade and... Lavelle check out. They are replaced by Darrell Roberts, a 6'7 senior forward from Dallas, averaging nine points per game. Also in for the Wonder Boys, Cade Schaefer, a six foot sophomore guard from Russellville, averaging 4.3 points per game. Shot clock at three. Taylor Peter, 4 3. He got it. The second Mr. Break and Lube three pointer of the night for Taylor Peter, accounting for all six of his points. And the Wonder Boys tie the score at seven apiece. Now they try to run a blitz at Ian Boat do the Wonder Boys, but he passes out of it. Now Javon Jackson with the basketball for Southern Naz. Gives right wing for Mo Wilson. Back to Jackson. Back to Wilson. They give to McGuire on the right baseline. He's defended by B.J. Johnson. Javon Jackson receives the pass and commits the offensive foul. There to take the charge for Arkansas Tech was B.J. Johnson. The foul on Javon Jackson of Southern Nazarene is his first, the team's third, and the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. Uh -huh. Good play, good defensive effort that time. Pick up the charge. Southern Nazarene, three out of six from the field so far with four turnovers. Arkansas Tech, two out of nine with two turnovers. The Wonder Boys have hit two Mr. Break and Lube three-pointers. No three-pointers yet for Southern Nazarene. Left-handed dribble drive. Darrell Roberts, bounce pass for B.J. Johnson, off target and out of bounds. The Wonder Boys turn it over for the third time. Taylor Peter gets a breather. He is replaced by Deshaun Davidson. Southern Nazarene will work against some light full court pressure. 
Get it in to Ian Moat, and he'll bring it up floor, guarded all the way by Cade Schaefer. They swing it left side for Javon Jackson. Jackson had 12 points and five rebounds in their 70 to 48 win over Henderson State on Saturday. The guy steps back, thought about a three, instead hands it off to Moat. Moat with the shot clock at five. Gives left side for Jackson. Jackson drives, gets into the lane, running eight-footer, no good. Wes Harris has the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Harris, 10th in the league in rebounding at 6.2 per game. Schaefer looks to drive, throws it out left corner for B.J. Johnson. Three-pointer for the lead is too strong. Defensive rebound, Javon Jackson. And here comes the Crimson Storm with the score tied at 7 and 12 minutes and 14 seconds to go in the first half. And so far, it has been exactly the caliber of defense we expected. Very good defense, both ends. Moat picks up his dribble, gives right wing for Mo Wilson. Out to the high post for Mike Bauer. Bauer is a six foot seven graduate student from the Netherlands. He averages 1.6 points and 2.7 rebounds per game. Moat loses the ball, loose ball, shot clock violation, and Southern Nazarene's fifth turnover in the first eight minutes and 11 seconds takes us to a timeout on the floor, 11 minutes and 49 seconds to play. First half, Arkansas Tech and Southern Nazarene tied at seven at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It's a one minute break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Do you need help with health insurance, Medicare insurance, life insurance, long-term care insurance? We can help you find solutions. Hi, I'm Mike Garreau with Garreau & Associates. Give us a call today and let us help you find solutions that best meets your needs. Grown Associates. Insurance in today's world can be filled with a variety of complicated issues, but it doesn't have to be that way. Let our professional staff simplify it for you. Grown Associates. You can call us at 479-857-2810. Money. They say it greases the wheels of commerce. Everybody has to have a little now and again. If you're a little low on cash, bring your old, unwanted, or broken gold or silver jewelry into Joshua's Fine Jewelry and let us convert it into beautiful, brand new cash. Take a girl out for a night on the town, buy your mom something nice. If you're not using it, sell it for top dollar at Joshua's Fine Jewelry in beautiful downtown Russell. Arkansas Tech with a 6-0 to zero edge in second chance points early on. Score tied at 7 with 11.49 to play in the first half. Darrell Roberts, Cade Schaefer, Taylor Peter, Wes Harris, and Deshaun Davidson break the huddle for Arkansas Tech. I spy Tyler McGuy, Ian Moat, Mike Bauer, Nick Davis, and Jalen Lynn for Southern Nazarene. The basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. Taylor Peter gets a look at 3, too strong, and the rebound not only does it go over the top of the backboard, it becomes wedged between the backboard and the post holding up the shot clock. I'm not sure I've seen that one before. That's a little that'll be unusual. Uh, one, took him one time to get it down. Nick Davis able to knock it down. Now the question is, do we make sure we got the right game ball? He, he used another basketball to, to get it down. I think I, they did the old switcheroo. I think the official gave it a look to make sure we ended up with the right <laughs> game ball. Probably really doesn't matter. Inbound pass to Ian Moat, defended by Cade Schaefer. 11.35 remaining in the first half, score tied at 7. Wonder Boy struggling against this stout Southern Nazarene defense. Arkansas Tech just 2 of 11 from the field so far. The good news is the two makes have both been three-pointers. Speaking of three-pointers, Tyler McGuy with the three-pointer from the right wing. He is 11th in the conference in three-point field goal percentage, 5th in the league in three-point field goals made. He gives Southern Nazarene a 10-7 lead with that three-pointer from the right wing. Darrell Roberts throws it out to Schaefer. Cade fakes the three, drives and dishes for Peter. Taylor's three is good. Taylor Peter with the answer. A Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer for Arkansas Tech. Taylor is three out of five from downtown, accounting for all nine of his points and accounting for all of Arkansas Tech's made field goals so far. And the score is tied at 10. Top of the key on the dribble, Ian Moat. Moat averaging 13.5 points per game over his last two, eight out of 14 from three-point range over that span. Gives to Magai. Magai fadeaway jumper from the right baseline is no good. Defensive rebound secured by Wes Harris. 10-29 to go until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show. And the Wonder Boys and the Crimson Storm are tied at 10. 
alley-oop drive. Wes Harris felt like he was fouled going to the rim, trying to take the pass yeah. from Cade Schaefer. And they do not call the foul. Yeah. Heard no whistle. Southern Nazarene goes the other way with the loose ball after the failed alley-oop drive. Left side, Tyler Magai. Magai was held to just 7.5 points per game in two meetings against Arkansas Tech last year. Gives to Moat. Moat's three is no good. He was fouled by Cade Schaefer. Schaefer's first is the team's second, and it will lead to three free throw attempts for Southern Nazarene University's Ian Moat. Sophomore guard out of Austin, Texas. Moat on the season is five out of five at the free throw line which I believe, Kelly, is 100%. Last time I checked. He is a career 86% free throw shooter. First of three tries for Moat is good. He will have two more. He's still left. Another uh, home game for the Golden Suns and Wonder Boys coming up on Saturday. 1 and 3 p.m. will be the game times. It will be Banker Appreciation Day. If you are a local bank employee and can show your ID at the, the door, then uh, you can gain free admission on Saturday on Banker Appreciation Day. Kelly, you're an old banker. Oh, I well, thought we might have been giving away money. If you were going to be here on Saturday, we'd let you in for free as a former banker. I oh, appreciate that. I've been, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. <laughs> when are they going to quit charging me to get in here? Ian Moat goes three out of three at the free throw line, 10.02 to play in the first half. Yeah, I'm on a fixed income these days, you know. <laughs> Retiree, it is what it is. Nico Gosnell with it on the left baseline. Pass into the post, deflected away by Nick Davis. The Wonder Boys will maintain possession with 22 on the shot clock. Rita can cover you. Uh, well, <laughs> that'd mean I'll have to do something. Inbound pass is saved for the Wonder Boys by Darrell Roberts. Throws it opposite corner for Peter. Three-pointer is no good. And the defensive rebound cleared by Nick Davis. And then immediately a whistle after Davis got that defensive uh, rebound. Shot clock or something. Could be that. Could be, I hate to suggest it, they may have waited until the play was over to call a flop. That's in the hat as a possibility here based upon when the whistle blew. Well, they, nope. they adjusted the clock a little bit. Just a, just a clock deal. Okay. Now we will continue. 9.43 to go first half. Southern Nazarene leads 13-10. Nico Gosnell flashes in front of the inbound pass, makes the steal, and then has his pass deflected out of bounds. Wonder Boys will maintain possession, but a great job by Nico Gosnell reading that inbound pass and going to get it. Uh, he was standing at about mid, mid court. It is the sixth turnover for Southern Nazarene. Talon Peter takes a handoff from Andre Lavelle, dribbles right, pivots, hands it off to Darrell Roberts. Roberts steps back for three to tie. It is in and out, no good. And Southern Nazarene's Jalen Lynn has the defensive rebound. Oh, that one went halfway down and came back. Southern Nazarene, just one out of three from three-point range so far. That's news. The Crimson Storm was 21 of 42, 50% from three-point range in their two home wins over Washita Baptist and Henderson State last week. Top of the key, Mo Wilson hands it off to Javon Jackson. Jackson will try a three. It is good. Second three-pointer of the night for the Crimson Storm. First of the night for Javon Jackson. Jackson is a 39% three-point shooter this year. He gives Southern Naz a 16 to 10 lead. Right wing B.J. Johnson dribbles left, got a pick from Gosnell, gives it to him on the pick and roll. Reverse layup would not go. Defensive rebound by Mo Wilson of Southern Nazarene. Eight minutes and 38 seconds to play in the first half. Southern Naz 16, Arkansas Tech 10. The Wonder Boys really struggling from the field. Arkansas Tech is three out of 16 from the field so far. That is 19%. They have yet to make a two-point basket. Javon Jackson feeling it for Southern Nazarene. He hits the three from the left wing. Javon Jackson now with 11 first half points. And Coach Mark Downey wants timeout. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to play in the first half. Southern Nazarene on a nine to nothing run. Crimson Storm leads 19 to 10 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It is a one minute break. This is Wonder Boys basketball. Do you need your wisdom or other teeth removed? Do you have a toothache? Are you considering dental implants to replace missing teeth or to help anchor a denture? Be sure to see Dr. Forrest Fail for a no out-of-pocket consultation at Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is contracted with many insurance companies and has multiple financing options to minimize your out-of-pocket costs. 
at your oral surgery in a caring, state-of-the-art facility right here in Russellville. Visit their website at lakesideofs.com. Miller Roofing Company. They've served the River Valley since 1991 with a reputation for superior work and reliability. Now to keep up with demand, Miller Roofing Company is looking for reliable, experienced individuals to join a team that stood the test of time, serving their community for 31 years and is still going strong. To be a part of the Miller Roofing Company family, call 890-3499 to set up an interview or stop by 318 South Arkansas Avenue. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first half. Southern Nazarene 19, Arkansas Tech 10. Wonder Boys just three of 16 from the floor so far, 19%. Meanwhile, Southern Nazarene starting to heat up. The Crimson Storm now six of 11 from the field, 55%, including three out of five from three-point range for the Crimson Storm. Now the Wonder Boys, who have missed six of their last seven field goal tries, go back to work offensively, down by nine with 8.12 to go in the first half. Nico Gosnell hands it off to Andre Lavelle. Lavelle goes left, passes top of the key for Johnson. Johnson dumps it in for Nico Gosnell. He works on Nick Davis, can't make the layup. Defensive rebound by Mo Wilson of Southern Nazarene. Wonder Boys got what they wanted. Nick Davis's post defense was just too much. A lot of contacts. Right side, Jalen Lins. Letting them play down low. And now a whistle and most likely an illegal screen. That is the case set by Southern Nazarene. Tyler Magai is the guilty party. His first, team's fourth. Nico Gosnell is out. Wonder Boys make changes. Tommy Comerad, Andre Lavelle, Wes Harris. Deshaun Davidson and B.J. Johnson now the five on the floor. Right side, Andre Lavelle, bounce pass to the top of the keeper's Comerad. He lobs it down low for Wes Harris, but it was deflected by Mike Bauer and stolen by Mo Wilson. Crimson Storm the other way. Arkansas Tech commits its fourth turnover. Drive by Mo Wilson, can't finish the layup through contact. Now a fight for the rebound. Wilson gets his own, throws it out to Javon Jackson. Those two play catch on the right wing. Jackson gives it back to Wilson after he slipped a screen. Wes Harris blocks the shot off the glass. Rebound taken away by B.J. Johnson. Johnson tried to give it back to Harris on the fast break, but the pass was off target. The Wonder Boys have now committed five turnovers and made three field goals. It's out of sync right now. Wonder Boys three out of nine from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc, and they are 0 for 8 inside the three-point arc. Play some good defense here. 19 to 10 is the Southern Nazarene lead. Top of the key, Mo Wilson on the dribble. Gives it left side for Javon Jackson. Jackson very much putting his name in the hat for Great American Conference Freshman of the Year consideration. Passes left side for McGuy. Five on the timer. McGuy spots that. Forces up a three. No good. Offensive rebound put back by Bauer. No good. Defensive rebound by Wes Harris of Arkansas Tech. Outlet pass to Andre Lavelle. Lavelle gets a high ball screen from Harris. Leaves it with Comerad at the top of the key. Comerad drives, running six-footer, up and good for Tommy Comerad. That breaks a string of five consecutive missed field goal attempts for Arkansas Tech, and it cuts the Southern Naz lead to 19-12. to Full court pressure is going to almost lead to a Southern Nazarene turnover as diving on the loose ball in the backcourt was Mo Wilson, and then the Crimson Storm uses its first half use it or lose it timeout. 6.14 to go until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show. Southern Nazarene leads 19 to 12 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It is a 30 second break. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family owned business and they take care of their customers like family too. So remember your local auto, residential and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you can always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Scott. And I'm Corey. And we're the TreeWise Tree Guys. Tree work experts based in Russellville, Arkansas. If you have a problem tree that you'd like removed, trimmed, or otherwise dealt with, we're the guys to call. If you're looking for the best, look no further. We're the highest rated in the area. Five-star rating on Google. Give Jay Lynn a call today, 479-222-0793. That's 479-222-0793. Tree Wise, Tree Guys. 
coming out of the timeout. Arkansas Tech applies full court pressure, and B.J. Johnson is called for a foul. His first, team foul number three against Arkansas Tech, and Southern Nazarene will throw it in from the far sideline. They get it into Javon Jackson, Southern at Nazarene, leading 19 to 12. Feed down low for Nick Davis. He makes a nice running catch, and then pivots and lays it up and in. Nick Davis with four points and five rebounds. 5:57 to go, first half. 21 to 12 is the Southern Nazarene lead. Drive by Lavelle, out of control. Left-handed layup try is off target. Defensive rebound, Southern Naz. Jackson leaves it with the trailer, Magai. He gives top of the key for Nick Davis. Davis looking for somebody to hand the basketball to. Instead, passes top of the key for Mike Bauer. Bauer in his fourth year with the Crimson Storm is bringing his 68th game at Southern Nazarene. Ball goes left side to Magai. Out to Moat for three. No good. Off to the right. Offensive rebound, Bauer. And Southern Nazarene gets a bonus possession here thanks to the Mike Bauer offensive rebound. 14 on the timer. Five minutes and 19 seconds left in the half. Southern Nazarene by nine. Crimson Storm shooting 41% from the floor. And that is their fourth made three-pointer of the half. Javon Jackson has three of them. He's three out of three from beyond the arc. 14 points for Javon Jackson and a 24-12 lead for Southern Nazarene. The Crimson Storm is on a 14-2 run over the last five minutes and eight seconds. Arkansas Tech struggling offensively against this stingy Southern Nazarene defense. Crimson Storm came in fourth in the league in field goal percentage defense. Layup try good for Deshaun Davidson. Davidson gets his first bucket of the night. It is 24-14. Full court pressure. Javon Jackson dribbles right. Now the Crimson Storm will get it over the timeline with Ian Moat at the controls. He gives to Jackson who dribbles on the Tech logo at midcourt. Law pass intended for Nick Davis was too tall. Wonder Boys ran a blitz at Jackson. That forced that pass to be too tall out of bounds on the baseline. The Wonder Boys will have it. Changes for Arkansas Tech. Darrell Roberts, Cade Schaefer. Taylor Peter, Wes Harris, and B.J. Johnson are now the five for Arkansas Tech. For Southern Nazarene, it is Nick Davis, Mo Wilson, Ian Moat, along with Javon Jackson and Jalen Lynn. Cade Schaefer on the dribble into the front court. It was one week ago he had that unforgettable 17-point performance at Southeastern Oklahoma State, really helping fuel that road win for the Wonder Boys. Darrell Roberts tries a shot from the right side of the lane and draws a foul on Southern Nazarene. They've got Mo Wilson, his second personal foul, team foul number five, and Darrell Roberts is to the a Better Way Realty free throw line. His second trip there tonight for the Wonder Boys, Tommy Comrade earlier was one out of two at the line, and now Darrell Roberts makes his first attempt of the night. Roberts, a 55% free throw shooter on the year. Over the course of his college basketball career, a 70% free throw shooter. He misses the second one. And Mo Wilson has the defensive rebound for Southern Nazarene. Now a whistle and an offensive foul on Southern Naz. Darrell Roberts harassing the ball handler, Mo Wilson, and, and drawing the offensive foul on Wilson, who shoved Roberts to the floor. The foul Three on Mo. the third on Mo Wilson. Team foul number six, Wilson checks out. And Arkansas Tech will inbound it from the baseline with 4.07 left in the half. Southern at Nazarene leading 24 to 15. Cade Schaefer lobs it in for Nico Gosnell, hands it back to Schaefer. Schaefer passes right wing for Taylor Peter. Now Schaefer again. Swing it left side for Darrell Roberts. Roberts, some fancy dribbling, gets turned downhill, dribbles into three defenders, bounce pass to the open man Johnson. He lays it in. B.J. Johnson with the layup, his first two points of the night. 349 left in the half. The Wonder Boys trying to claw back into this thing. That's five straight points for Arkansas Tech, cutting what was a 12-point Southern Nazarene lead down to seven. Javon Jackson takes the handoff for Southern Nazarene. He's defended by B.J. Johnson. Ball screen set by Nick Davis. Jackson goes right. Jackson goes left. Feeds it on the baseline for Ian Moat. Moat dribbles out. Moat throws it right wing for Mike Bauer. He tries a long two. It is no good. It was an air ball. It's a shot clock violation, and there's timeout on the floor. Three minutes and 16 seconds to play in the first half. Southern Nazarene 24, Arkansas Tech 17. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Harvest Co-op located in Russellville. Don't forget their gamble location. Mike Apples along, Mike. It is that time of year when feed 
is very, very important. It sure is, and uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animal's needs taken care of, uh, his protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op, we're located on East Main at Russellville. Don't forget the Damble location. Bowner's Athletes Corner, your high-performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel, features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kabu, Keen, and many, many more. Bowner's invites you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined experience, the familiar faces at Bowner's can help you with all your athletic needs. Bowner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. Three minutes and 16 seconds remaining in the first half. Southern Nazarene 24, Arkansas Tech 17. The Crimson Storm looking to extend an eight-game winning streak. The Wonder Boys have won seven out of their last eight. And out of the under-four media timeout, basketball will belong to Arkansas Tech. Darrell Roberts, Cade Schaefer, Talon Peter, B.J. Johnson, and Nico Gosnell. Now the five on the floor. Tyler McGuy, Ian Moat, Nick Davis, Javon Jackson, and Jalen Lynn for Southern Nazarene. Feed at the high post for Darrell Roberts. He turns to face the basket, gives it out right wing for Talon Peter. Peter guarded by Jalen Lynn. Gives to Schaefer at the top of the key, 15 to shoot. Schaefer dribbles right. Schaefer dribbles left. Hands it off to Darrell Roberts. 10 to shoot. Roberts trying some between the legs dribbling. Lost the ball for a moment. Regathered it. Shot clock at 5. Schaefer drives. Falls down. Throws it away. Javon Jackson makes the steal. For Southern Nazarene in transition ahead to Ian Moat. Moat gives to Magai. Magai to the rim. Reverse layup up and good for Tyler Magai. 26 17 Southern Nazarene. Magai, who came into the night averaging 15.9 points per game, fourth most in the Great American Conference, has five points so far tonight. 2.27 left in the half. Peter gives left wing to Roberts. His three pointer is good. Darrell Roberts with the fourth. Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer of the night for Arkansas Tech, and he cuts the Southern Nazarene lead to 26 to 20. Now on full court pressure, Roberts tips it away. Schaefer steals it. Wonder Boys turn him over in the backcourt. Cross court to Peter. Out to Schaefer. Schaefer defended by Jalen Lynn. We go under two minutes to play until the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show. High ball screen set. Gosnell float to the rim. Alley oop attempt, and a foul is called against Southern Nazarene. Schaefer floated it up to the rim looking for Nico Gosnell. And when Gosnell went up to receive the pass, he was fouled. Team foul number seven on Southern Nazarene. Personal foul assessed to Javon Jackson. That is his second personal foul. And head coach Adam Bohack will have to think long and hard about getting Jackson out of the game with two fouls. A minute 54 left in the half. Nico Gosnell misses the first free throw. The Wonder Boys as a team shooting just over 63% from the free throw line this season. That ranks 11th among the 12 members of the great American Conference. Second free throw try forthcoming for Nico Gosnell. He missed them both. Rebound, Jalen Lynn of Southern Nazarene. A minute 48 to go in the half. Crimson Storm by six. Over the timeline of the dribble comes Ian Moat. Moat and McGee play catch on the right side of the floor. Now Moat finds Jalen Lynn. Lynn with it on the right wing, 12 to shoot. Throws it out front for Javon Jackson. Jackson draw, drives, spins into the lane, and he draws a foul. Question is, was it on the floor or in the act of shooting? Foul on B.J. Johnson, and they will indeed give two free throws to Javon Jackson. B.J. Johnson's second personal foul is team foul number four. And Javon Jackson to the free throw line, where he is one out of two so far tonight. Jackson, a 76% free throw shooter on the season, makes the first one. He'll have another try. B.J. Johnson and Nico Gosnell are out for the Wonder Boys. Andre Lavelle and Wes Harris are back in. Jackson got them both. A minute 31 left in the half. 28 to 20, Southern at Nazarene. Go ahead and take him out with two fouls. Not really sad to see him go. He has scored more than half of Southern Nazarene's points here in the first half. He has 16 of their 28. It's five of six from the field, including three out of three from three points. Darrell Roberts drives, cut off by Mike Bauer, gives in the right corner for Talon Peter. Now out to Andre Lavelle. Bounce pass to Harris. Davis went for the steal, and that left Wes Harris all alone for the slam dunk. Nick Davis gambled 
did not win, and then he paid the price with the Wes Harris slam dunk. Harris gets his first two points of the game to go along with three rebounds. Full court pressure, Southern Nazarene able to beat it. Magai over the timeline, just barely ahead of the 10 second count. Dalen Peter with the defense on Magai. 48 seconds left in the half. Southern Nazarene leads by six. Wonder Boys trying to gain the momentum right before the break. Right wing Magai. Magai defended by Taylor Peter. Lavelle comes to help. He pokes it away and makes the steal. Turnover Southern at Nazarene. It's 12th of the half. Lavelle gives to Roberts. Back to Lavelle. Shot clock at 24. 29 seconds left in the half. Wonder Boys down by a half dozen. Drive by Lavelle. Nearly stripped away. Able to save it. Lobs it out to Roberts. 14 to shoot. Durrell steps back for three. Got it! Durrell Roberts with his second Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer of the half. And the Wonder Boys are back within three after trailing by as many as 12. Full court pressure. And a whistle and a foul near midcourt committed by Arkansas Tech's Durrell Roberts. That's a good foul. It's his first. It is only the fifth team foul, so no free throws here for Southern Naz. Durrell, get over there in time. Rell Roberts checks out, replaced by Tommy Comerad. Crimson Storm throws it in with six seconds left in the half. Into the front court, Javon Jackson. The Wonder Boys take their other foul they had to give. Andre Lavelle committing this one for his first personal. Now Southern Nazarene will throw it in from the far sideline with 2.3 seconds to go in the half. Nice job here by the Wonder Boys utilizing those fouls to give that they had at their disposal really limiting Southern Nazarene's opportunity to get up a shot here before the half. Boat lobs it for Davis, poked away by Harris, stolen by Comrade, and that's the end of the half. After 20 minutes in Russellville, the score is Southern Nazarene 28 and Arkansas Tech 25. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for a three-minute break and then come back with the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show Crimson Storm by three at halftime. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. First State Bank is proud to serve our community with new and unique hardworking friends and neighbors. Folks who make our community better. You're why we offer personal helpful service and convenient digital tools. You make our town what it is. Deeply rooted, community driven. First State Bank. These are Stone. Visit fsbmybank.com to learn more. Member FDIC. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in. Like number one selling Kubota, DX, and L2 compact tractors. D-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the work day with a hearty home-style lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurants on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you. Come on back Pine Finnings Sun Incorporated reminds you when you need new tires or auto repairs, Pine Finnings Sun has a well trained staff to treat you like family. A new goal is always on customer service. It's the foundation of their business, which is why so many people in the River Valley call Pine Finnings Sun their tire shop. Find Pine Finnings Sun on Facebook, check out their reviews, and call 880 1222 to make an appointment today. Pine Finnings Sun, serving the River Valley for over 30 years and counting. This is Todd, market president with Centennial Bank. We're more than just a financial institution. We pride ourselves on being community-focused and connected. Hi, I'm Hartley, business development officer with Centennial Bank. As a lifelong resident of the River Valley, I am proud to be part of a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our communities. Supporting our community starts with people like myself and Charlie. We know and love the River Valley area, which is why we're always banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. MLS number 564645. We beat a broke down, had to act fast. We did some wild but broke the thermostat. My wife got cold and it started to freeze. She said, hey man, got a call actually. Actually, actually there. there. Dot com. Here's 
Prince downloaded the one you want. Actually, yeah. Dark Palm. Fast and the good and they got it going on. Technician showed up the very same day. Bitch running fast, he was on his way. Next time you hear the break, know who to call. There's only one choice. Actually, yeah. Dark Palm. Welcome in to the Fleet Tire Point S Halftime Show from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville where our score is Southern Nazarene 28 and Arkansas Tech 25. Let's take a look at the numbers from the first half. Southern Nazarene 9 of 20 from the field, 45%, including 4 out of 8, 50% from three-point range. And the Crimson Storm 6 out of 7, 86% at the free throw line so far. Arkansas Tech, 9 of 24 from the field. That is 38%, but it got better as it went along. The Wonder Boys made their final five field goal attempts of the half. Arkansas Tech, 5 of 11 from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. That is 46%, and the Wonder Boys are 2 out of 6, 33% at the free throw line. Southern Nazarene absolutely dominating on the glass right now, a 20 to 9 rebounding edge for Southern Nazarene. And out of all those misses, the Wonder Boys have missed 15 shots, and they've only gotten two offensive rebounds so far. Southern Nazarene needs that rebounding edge, though, because they are giving the basketball away at quite a rapid rate. Southern Naz with four assists and 12 turnovers. Arkansas Tech with six assists and six turnovers. The Wonder Boys have an 11 to nothing edge in points off the bench. Individual leaders, first for Southern Nazarene, Javon Jackson has been the man so far. He's got 16 points on five of six shooting from the floor. Also three rebounds and three steals for Javon Jackson. Tyler McGuy has five points. Nick Davis with four points and five rebounds for the Crimson Storm. And Ian Moat has the other three points, all of them from the free throw line for Southern Nazarene. Arkansas Tech led by Talon Peter. He's got nine points on three Mr. Break and Lube three-pointers. Darrell Roberts has connected on two shots from beyond the arc. Roberts has seven points at halftime, three points for Tommy Comerad, and then two points apiece for Deshaun Davidson, B.J. Johnson, Wes Harris for Arkansas Tech. Kate Schaefer hasn't scored, but he does have two assists. Also two assists for Andre Lavelle. Lavelle with two steals and two rebounds as well. It is the Fleet Tire Point S Halftime Show from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Here at the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for a three-minute break, and then Kelly Davis will take us around the GAC Southern Naz by three at the break. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. We have sort of a hidden gem right here in the Arkansas River Valley, Central Arkansas Surgical Center of Russellville. They're high on the hill at the intersection of Highway 7 and Interstate 40. We're talking quality local surgeons in a variety of capacities who can help you when it comes time for surgery. It's not a hospital. It's a surgical center. Central Arkansas Surgical Center. Inquire today by logging on to centralarkansasurgical.com or call them at 967-1117. If your business's telephone system, alarm system, cabling, or even CCTV aren't up to date, your business is not secure. Tracer Communications is a one-stop shop for new and existing businesses that value honesty, hard work, and quality solutions. So you can save time and money and focus on your business while they take care of your phone and security systems. And that saves you money and protects your investment. So call your local Tracer Communications at 890-6499 to set up an appointment or visit tracercoms.com for a full list of services today. Arkansas, tire and auto service for four business types. Attention, responsive, honest and fair. What makes the difference? We're the ones who care. The thought experience to know what you need. Attention, knowledge, passion, be what we be. Arkansas, tire and auto service for four business types. Arkansas, tire. 
Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. So talks about your home from a lake that's real free Russellville. Many will tell you spring is the best time to sell. If you've been considering putting your house on the market, why wait until spring when everyone else is on the market and you have more competition? Why not go on the market now when there's less competition and get more for your home? If you're ready to sell or you know someone who's thinking of selling, get in touch with a professional at Olathe's Realty, Russellville. Find them on Facebook. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479-272-4069. Back with you on the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show where the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm leads the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys by a score of 28 to 25. Here with a look at what else is going on around the great American conference is the one and only Kelly Davis. Thank goodness, right? <laughs> Here's all your halftime scores. It is Oklahoma Baptist 31, Harding 25. East Central, 36. Southern Arkansas, 30. Southeast Oklahoma, all over UA Monticello, 41 to 28. Henderson State, 31. Northwest Oklahoma, 26. And Washita leads Southwest Oklahoma, 37-32. As we mentioned before, coming into tonight's contest, there was only one undefeated team left in the Great American Conference men's side and that is this Southern Nazarene team, and you can see why. They play very tough defense. They have a 6-0 record, followed by your Wonder Boys and Southern Arkansas at 5-1. At 4-2, Henderson State and Oklahoma Baptist. It is Southeast Oklahoma at 3-3. At 2-4 is East Central, Southwest Oklahoma, and Washita. And at 1-5... Northwest Oklahoma, UA Monticello, and Harding. Going back and recapping some of the women's, let's give you the updated standings after tonight's contest. Sitting alone in first place now is Southern Nazarene at 7-0. Tied for second now is Oklahoma Baptist and Harding at 6-1. The Golden Suns can help themselves on Saturday because Oklahoma Baptist comes to town and your Golden Suns sit at 5-2, and two, so they can make some ground up on Saturday if they have a great game, which I know they will. At Henderson State, at 4-3. and three. At 3-4 three and four is Northwest Oklahoma and Southwest Oklahoma. At 2-5 and five now is Southeast Oklahoma, Washita Baptist, and UA Monticello. And getting their first conference win of the season, East Central, they are now tied with Southern Arkansas with a one and six conference mark. So, let's see. Let's just erase this one out of the memory bank and come back in here Saturday because it doesn't get any easier, my friends, as Oklahoma Baptist comes to Russellville to take on your Golden Suns and Wonder Boys. That is a look at what else is going on around the Great American Conference at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for three minutes and then come back with the second half. This has been the Fleet Tire Point S halftime show. Southern Nazarene leads 28 to 25, and this is Arkansas Tech basketball. At Fleet Tire Point S, the S stands for service, selection, and savings. Fleet Tire knows the importance of the handshake and the significance of a referral that will never change. At Fleet Tire Point S, you'll still find the same local owners, friendly service, and guarantees on warranties. Fleet Tire Point S consistently offers unparalleled service and quality tires to fit every budget because you, the customer, are always a top priority at Fleet Tire Point S. So come by today and experience the Fleet Tire Point S difference. No stress with Point S. Mr. Break and Lube, your local Pennzoil 10-minute oil change super stop at 1415 East Main Street has more than just oil. 
They also carry for your air conditioning R1234A Freon for newer vehicles and R134 for the older vehicles. Plus brakes and tires so you can travel safely. So visit your local one-stop maintenance shop you can count on at 1415 East Main Street. And follow Mr. Break and Lube on Facebook to keep up with monthly specials. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling for the 2022 school year with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info, and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person, or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. Folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air want to take a moment not only to thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family full house comfort. Every kind word that you put online and personal recommendation to your friends and family is appreciated. Customers like you are not only vital to their business, but vital to making our community as great as it is. From their family to yours, thank you. From Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at A Better Way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at A Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with A Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A Better Way Realty. Real estate done a better way. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at C&D Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, Arden Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need C&D Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60 year tradition. Back with you at John E. Tucker Coliseum in Russellville and the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We have already seen one Southern Nazarene winning streak extended tonight as the Crimson Storm women won their ninth consecutive game earlier tonight. And I think one nine-game winning streak for Southern Nazarene is enough. And the Wonder Boys trying to deny that opportunity to the Southern Nazarene men. But as we begin the second half, it is the Crimson Storm with a 28-25 to lead. The Wonder Boys get the basketball to begin the second half. They will operate against man-to-man -man defense from Southern Nazarene. Kalen Peter has it on the left wing. Nico Gosnell sets a pick. Pass to the right wing for Andre Lavelle. Left-handed dribble drive. Gets all the way to the basket. Layup, no good. Rebound, Southern Nazarene. Again, no second chances for the Wonder Boys. In the first half of this game, Arkansas Tech missed 15 field goals and only got two offensive rebounds. Out of bounds, lost by Ian Moat as the Crimson Storm gives it right back. That is the 13th turnover of the game for the Crimson Storm. Just dribbled it off his foot. And I think that those turnovers are really the only evidence you see for sure, right now at least, of them missing all three of those frontline guys who've been out for a month or more now. Three-pointer on the way and no good for Taylor Peter. Defensive rebound by Nick Davis of Southern Nazarene. Crimson Storm the other way. Ian Moat at the controls. His side up by three. Deshaun Davidson with the pressure on the basketball. Hands it off to Javon Jackson. Jackson gives it up. They give it to Ian Moat on the right wing now. Moat with 10 on the timer. Gives the high post for Nick Davis. Davis drives to the basket. Layup drive. Rejected by Comrade. Rebounded by Taylor Peter of Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys into the front court. Comrade three-pointer to tie is short. Defensive rebound by Jalen Lynn of Southern Nazarene. No second chance tries yet. 18 minutes and 41 seconds to play. Southern Nazarene leading 28-25. Tyler Magai passes right wing for Jalen Lynn. Now Javon Jackson with the basketball. He distributes left side to Moat. Moat swings it for Magai. They run a blitz at Magai. He gives to Javon Jackson. Jackson loses his dribble. Gets it back, throws it in the corner for an open Ian Moat. Three-pointer rims out, no good. Rebound, tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Javon Jackson of Southern Nazarene. The basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. 
18 minutes and 14 seconds to go in Russellville. Wonder Boys, winners of seven of their last eight, trying to make it eight of their last nine and knock off Southern Nazarene and take down the last team that is unbeaten in conference play on the men's side in the Great American Conference this yep. year. Who wants to score first in this match? Southern Nazarene, the first GAC men's team in five years to start G and O at six and O. Loose ball at midcourt on an Arkansas Tech turnover. Moat makes the steal, goes in for the layup try, no good. Andre Lavelle forced the miss, and the rebound is out of bounds off Arkansas Tech. In that pileup at midcourt, Tommy Comrade a little slow to get up, but he's back to his feet now. And Ian Moat will make the inbound pass for Southern Nazarene. Cade Schaefer is in. Andre Lavelle is out for Arkansas Tech. Crimson Storm has 27 on its shot clock. 1 and 3 p.m. are the game times on Saturday. Oklahoma Baptist will be the opponent. Hope you'll join us here at Tucker Coliseum then. Devon Jackson looking, looking, lobs it into the top of the key for Nick Davis. Davis hands it off to Moat. Moat goes right, gives to Magai. 14 to shoot. Davis pivots. Now wants to drive. Gets down the left side of the lane, and he picked up the pivot foot this time. Turnover number 14 for Southern Nazarene as the Wonder Boys' relentless pressure on the defense has forced the Crimson Storm into a number of mistakes here tonight. As of right now, Oklahoma Baptist 50, Harding 49, six minutes to go in their game. Cade Schaefer dribbles to the top of the key for Arkansas Tech. Goes to the right side, cut off by Moat, throws it out to Deshaun Davidson. Shot clock at 15. Davidson dribbles into the lane. Throws it out on the right baseline for Nico Gosnell. Gosnell dribbles into the paint. Throws it out to Schaefer. Schaefer gets to the left baseline. 15-foot jumper good for Cade Schaefer. His first two points of the game come with 17-11 remaining. And they cut the Southern Nazarene lead down to a single point at 28-27. Full court pressure after the made basket. Southern Nazarene passes it around to the backcourt. They get over the timeline with two seconds to spare. And as they do, Talon Peter commits a foul that does not please Arkansas Tech head coach Mark Downey. He agreed with the call. He was just upset at Taylor for not moving his feet. Yeah, and he kind of wanted him to be there just a little earlier on the other side of that half court. 16.57 to go. The good news is it's only the first foul on Taylor Peters. Devon Jackson with the basketball for Southern Nazarene University. This is located in Bethany, Oklahoma. Jackson dribbles on the left wing, 11 on the shot clock. Gives it in the corner for Magai, three-pointer too strong. Defensive rebound, Taylor Peter of Arkansas Tech. Outlet pass for Cade Schaefer. Schaefer to B.J. Johnson. Johnson down the baseline, leaves it with Comrade. Comrade is fouled. Should be the Wonder Boys ball on the baseline. Comrade was not in the act of shooting. Foul called on Mo Wilson. That's four. Four on Wilson. That quickly gets Mike Bauer up off the Southern Nazarene bench. Bauer checks in, Wilson checks out. Mike Bauer, Jalen Lynn, Devon Jackson, Tyler Nagai on the floor right now for the Crimson Storm along with Nick Davis. And it's Nick Davis who steals the inbound pass after the alley-oop try by Arkansas Tech goes awry. The Wonder Boys commit their eighth turnover. Arkansas Tech plus six on the turnover margin. Tech with an 11 to five edge in points off of turnovers. Fade away jumper, short no good for Javon Jackson. Comrade with the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Schaefer the other way. Wonder Boys can take the lead right here. Hand off right side for B.J. Johnson. Johnson dribbles left, leaves it out front with Taylor Peter. Peter drives. We've got an arm bar foul on Southern Nazarene. They call Jalen Lynn for his first personal foul. It'll be the Wonder Boys ball on the baseline. If Arkansas Tech can score here, it'll be the first time the Wonder Boys have been in the lead since it was 3-1. 17.50 to go in the first half. Cade Schaefer to make the inbound pass. Gets it into Comrade, handoff right back to Schaefer. Schaefer dribbles left, leaves it in the corner with Comrade. Tommy thought about a three. Now he dribbles left, wants to take his defender into the paint. Fumbled it for a moment, gathered it, throws it out to Schaefer. Schaefer from 17 feet, no good. Offensive rebound, Comrade. Put back try was blocked. Now it's going to be a held ball between Comrade and and two Crimson Storm defenders, in fact, Nick Davis and Mike Bauer, both in there. The possession arrow favors Southern Nazarene, and the Crimson Storm will have the basketball when we come back. Both defenses clamping down. We've only seen two points in the first four minutes and 15 seconds of the half, and our score at the 15.45 mark of the second half is Southern Nazarene 28, 
Arkansas Tech 27 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It is a one minute break plus a station ID. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Do you need help with health insurance, Medicare insurance, life insurance, long term care insurance? We can help you find solutions. Hi, I'm Mike Garreau with Garone Associates. Give us a call today and let us help you find solutions that best meet your needs. Garone Associates. Insurance in today's world can be filled with a variety of complicated issues, but it doesn't have to be that way. Let our professional staff simplify it for you. Garone Associates. You can call us at 479-857-2810. Money. They say it greases the wheel of commerce. Everybody has to have a little now and again. If you're a little low on cash, bring your old, unwanted, or broken gold or silver jewelry into Joshua's Fine Jewelry and let us convert it into beautiful, brand-new cash. Take a girl out for a night on the town. Buy your mom something nice. If you're not using it, sell it for top dollar at Joshua's Fine Jewelry in beautiful downtown Russellville. Casey, Casey, Darnell, Russellville. Hey, you guys play the best country of all. River Country. Casey, Casey. The defense here tonight is something else. Southern Nazarene 0 for 5 from the field since halftime. Arkansas Tech 1 out of 6 from the field here in the second half. 15 minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Southern Nazarene with the basketball and a 28 to 27 lead. I say that's good defense. Full court pressure. Southern Nazarene throws off over it. Mike Bauer receives the pass in the front court. And now the Crimson Storm will get into its very methodical and deliberate half-court offense. As Coach Downey told us on the pregame show, they like to try to take it down really about 10 on the shot clock before they really try to get into their offense at all for the most part. McGuy with it on the left baseline, defended by T Taylor Peter, backs him down, some violent shoulders into the chest of Taylor Peter. The turnaround by McGuy wouldn't go. Nick Davis got the offensive rebound, and on the putback try, Nick Davis is fouled. I, don't, I just don't understand that. How you can just take your shoulder and yeah, repeatedly just, ram it just into somebody's chest. Ramming yeah. into somebody, ram into somebody. That is a good question, Kelly uh, Davis. Mercy. Foul was called on B.J. Johnson. That is his third personal foul. Team foul number two this half. Nick Davis at the free throw line. His first try is up and good. Davis's first trip to the line tonight. As Andre Lavelle replaces B.J. Johnson, the Arkansas Tech lineup. For a defender, your your place on the floor does not really matter. Davis, a 74% free throw shooter this season, 60% for his career. He has greatly improved there over past years. Nick Davis in his fourth year with the Crimson Storm, appearing in his 83rd game at Southern Nazarene tonight. He made both free throws. Storm by three. Right side, Cade Schaefer, three-pointer to tie, is short. Rebound out to the top of the key for Lavelle. Lavelle drives, throws it back out to Schaefer. Schaefer drives and dishes for Darrell Roberts. Bounce pass for Schaefer on the baseline. Schaefer dribbles into the painted area, throws it out to Lavelle, six on the shot clock. Lavelle drives, spins, leans in, it's not there, throws it out to Peter, on to Roberts. Durrell forces it up at the shot clock buzzer, short, no good, and Mike Bauer has the defensive rebound. Andre Lavelle did everything he could to tie up the basketball, but they would not give it to him. Into the front court comes the Crimson Storm. 14-32 to go second half, Southern Nazarene leading 30-27. Saved for two ties. They have led ever since the 1542 mark of the first half. Javon Jackson for three. Got it. Javon Jackson has 19 points. He is four out of four from the three-point arc. And he doubles the Southern Nazarene lead to 33 to 27. Schaefer takes the handoff from Lavelle. Floats it up to the rim. Trying an alley-oop with Wes Harris. Wasn't there. Wonder Boys able to save the loose ball. Out to Darrell Roberts. Right-handed dribble drive. Spin move. Shot up. Good from five feet for Darrell Roberts. Roberts has nine points. He is three out of five from the floor. Full court pressure by Arkansas Tech after the made basket. 33-29, Southern Nazarene. Inbound for Mike Bauer. Bauer uses his dribble, then throws it backwards to Jalen Lynn. Across to Javon Jackson. Jackson throws it over the timeline and throws it away. Stolen by Wes Harris. Harris gives to Cade Schaefer. Schaefer stops on the right wing. Diagonal pass for Peter. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Mike Bauer of Southern Nazarene. Bauer with his fourth rebound. Southern Nazarene is out-rebounding Arkansas Tech, 27-16. to 16. Right side, Jalen Lynn. Just a four-point lead. Lynn gives it at the 
stop to keep for Mike Bauer. Hand off for Magai. Magai double team. In trouble. Hands it off to Javon Jackson. Eight on the timer. Across to Jalen Lynn. Running 12 footer. No good. But a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. Cade Schaefer called for his second personal foul. Team foul number three. It'll be two free throws for Southern Nazarene Jalen Lynn. Lynn at the free throw line for the first time tonight. Lynn is 12 of 16, 75% at the free throw line this season. Also a career 75% free throw shooter. Lynn in his second year with the Crimson Storm, when you add his work at Southern Nazarene to his work at University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, he has appeared in 64 college basketball games, and he came in with 440 career points. Made the first free throw, did Jalen Lynn. His second try is also good. Southern Nazarene now 10 out of 11 at the free throw line tonight. 13.04 remaining, 35.29. Southern Nazarene by six. Cade Schaefer over the timeline. Passes left wing for Comrade. Tommy Comrade, Cade Schaefer, Taylor Peter, Andre Lavelle, and Wes Harris are the five on the floor. Harris backs his defender down, goes up and draws the foul. Foul is on the help defender, Mike Bauer. Bauer gets his first personal foul. And Wes Harris heads to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Well, he will attempt two shots from the A Better Way Realty free throw line. Wes is 16 of 30, 53% at the free throw line this season. First try for the Phoenix, Arizona product on its way and good. Harris played 14 minutes at East Central on Saturday, did not score. One week ago, he had 10 points and five rebounds in the win at Southeastern Oklahoma State. That was his first game since December the 3rd. He missed some time due to a concussion. And then he missed some t practice time getting ready for the Oklahoma road trip because of the Southwest Airline debacle. He goes one out of two at the free throw line, cutting the Southern Nazarene lead to 35 to 30. Now in full court pressure, Taylor Peter able to deflect a Southern Naz pass out of bounds. So the Crimson Storm will maintain possession with 22 on the shot clock. Now the head coach for Southern Nazarene, Adam Bohatch, arguing that the shot clock started too early. Right now it shows 22. They're going to check see what they need to do about that. Maybe nothing. Nothing. I think we're just going to leave it right at 22. That means Southern uh, Nazarene only has two seconds to get it over the timeline. They pretty much have to throw it into the front court here. Tyler McGuire is going to try to do just that. It's up for grabs at this court, and Wes Harris playing free safety makes the steal for Arkansas Tech. Then a cross-court pass by Taylor Peter is deflected out of bounds by Ian Moat of Southern Nazarene. The Wonder Boys will inbound the basketball from the far sideline. 12.38 to go. Southern Nazarene leads 35-30. to 30. Wonder Boys having a hard time getting over the hump and getting the lead back. Drive by Taylor Peter. Can't finish the layup. And we got a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech, I believe, on the rebound. Should be a pushing foul on the rebound against B.J. Johnson. That's not good news. That is the fourth personal foul on B.J. Johnson with 12.33 to go. And the Wonder Boys will be without one of their best defenders for a while. Johnson checks out, replaced by Andre Lavelle. Lavelle, Kate Schaefer, Wes Harris, Taylor Peter, and Tommy Comrade are the five on the floor for Arkansas Tech. Nick Davis, Tyler McGuire, Ian Moat, Javon Jackson, and Mike Bauer for Southern Nazarene. They've got their own foul trouble with Mo Wilson on the bench with four fouls. And there's another 10-second violation, the second of the night forced by the Arkansas Tech defense. In all, that is now 17 turnovers for Southern Nazarene. And the Wonder Boys will throw it in from the far sideline. Jalen Lynn is in. Ian Moat is out for the Crimson Storm. 12.22 to go. 35.30 is the Southern Nazarene lead. Cade Schaefer gets a high ball screen from Wes Harris. Leaves it with Comrade at the top of the key. Comrade goes left. Gives to Taylor Peter. Pass in the corner for Lavelle. Andre tries to drive. Cut off by Javon Jackson. Shot clock at six. Now Lavelle gets downhill. Gets to the rim and finishes. Layup. Andre Lavelle. For his first two points of the night, they come with 12.01 remaining. And now the Wonder Boys, in full court pressure, commit the foul. I believe they're going to get Tommy Comrade for the push in the backcourt on Jalen Lynn. And that is the case. The foul on Tommy Comrade is his first personal foul. And there's timeout on the floor. 11 minutes and 58 seconds to play. 
Southern Nazarene 35, Arkansas Tech 32. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Do you need your wisdom or other teeth removed? Do you have a toothache? Are you considering dental implants to replace missing teeth or to help anchor a denture? Be sure to see Dr. Forrest Bale for a no out-of-pocket consultation at Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is contracted with many insurance companies and has multiple financing options to minimize your out-of-pocket costs. Have your oral surgery in a caring, state-of-the-art facility right here in Russellville. Visit their website at lakesideofs.com. Miller Roofing Company. They've served the River Valley since 1991 with a reputation for superior work and reliability. Now to keep up with demand, Miller Roofing Company is looking for reliable, experienced individuals to join a team that stood the test of time, serving their community for 31 years and is still going strong. To be a part of the Miller Roofing Company family, call 890-3499 to set up an interview or stop by 318 South Arkansas Avenue. Kelly, I don't want to belabor the point, but you just can't say enough about this Arkansas Tech defense. So far in the second half, the Wonder Boys have held Southern Nazarene to one of seven shooting from the floor, and they forced the Crimson Storm into five turnovers here in the first eight minutes and two seconds of the half. Uh, I mean, just give them credit. I mean, Southern Naz is doing the same thing to us. No second chance points hardly at all, all night long. Full court pressure. Javon Jackson able to beat it with the dribble into the front court. Then Taylor Peter makes the steal. Three on two the other way. Taylor gives to Schaefer. Schaefer gives to Harris. Comrade saves a loose ball and lays it in. Tommy Comrade in the right place at the right time gets the loose ball after the pass intended for Wes Harris was deflected. Comrade able to lay it up and in, and the Wonder Boys trail by one. Southern Naz beats the press. Now Jalen Lynn goes to the rim. He gives to Bauer. Bauer lays it in. Mike Bauer with the layup, his first two points of the game. 11-27 remaining, and it's 37-34, Southern Nazarene. Taylor Peter gives to Wes Harris at the top of the key. Now Schaefer with it. Schaefer wants to drive. Cut off 12 feet away by Moat. Picks up his dribble, throws it left wing for Andre Lavelle. Post entry feed for Wes Harris. Harris will work on Nick Davis. Backs him down. Fadeaway jumper off target. Defensive rebound by Mike Bauer. Bauer's fifth rebound. Southern Naz's rebounding margin is now plus 14. They've got 30. Arkansas Tech with 16 rebounds. Into the front court comes the Crimson Storm. Left side, Javon Jackson. Jackson leads all scorers with 19 points. He's defended by Comrade. Takes him into the lane. Picks up his dribble. Hands it down low for Bauer. Bauer fakes left, goes right, can't hit the turnaround jumper. Comrade with the defensive rebound. Wonder Boys push. They could tie it with a three. Arkansas Tech has already made five. Mr. Break and Lube three-pointers here tonight. Andre Lavelle between the legs dribble, drives to the rim, layup try, wouldn't go. Bauer with the defensive rebound for Southern Nazarene. Tough, tough one there. Ten minutes and 15 seconds to play. Southern Naz with the ball and a 37-34 lead. Crimson Storm looking for its ninth consecutive win, trying to remain undefeated in Great American Conference play. Right side, Moat. They give it across for Javon Jackson. Three-point try blocked by Lavelle. Jackson able to get his own rebound, though. He goes to the rim, misses the layup, and Comrade has the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Outlet pass to Cade Schaefer. Schaefer drives, stops 12 feet away, picks up his dribble, bounce pass for Wes Harris on the right baseline. Harris, 17 to shoot. He wants to go one-on-one -on -one against Nick Davis. Takes him to the right block, and then Wes Harris is called for traveling. Tenth turnover for Arkansas Tech. Sean Davidson, Darrell Roberts, Nico Gosnell are in. Tommy Comrade, Wes Harris, and Cade Schaefer are out for Arkansas Tech. Nick Davis and Javon Jackson are out for Southern Nazarene. The five now for the Crimson Storm. Mo Wilson, who plays with four fouls. Tyler McGuy. Ian Moat, Jalen Lynn, and Mike Bauer. For Arkansas Tech, it's Andre Lavelle, Darrell Roberts, Taylor Peter, Deshaun Davidson, and Nico Gosnell. Full court pressure by Arkansas Tech. Crimson Storm beats it over the timeline with four seconds to spare. Now Southern Naz will get into its half-court offense. Ian Moat guarded by Andre Lavelle. Bounce pass to the high post for Bauer. Bauer defended by Nico Gosnell. Gives right side for Moat. Pass for Wilson. Wilson left-handed dribble. Gets 10 feet away. Turnaround jumper. Wouldn't go. 
Wilson gets his own rebound, though, and throws it out to the top of the key. Moat goes right. Moat penetrates, and we've got a foul on the floor against Arkansas Tech's Andre Lavelle. Second personal foul. Team foul on Arkansas Tech he is the sixth of the half. So the next one will put Southern Nazarene into the bonus. Now the Crimson Storm will throw it in from the baseline, up by three with 8.59 to go. Wilson gets it in right wing for Magai. Magai has been held to five points here tonight on two of seven shooting from the floor. Magai came into the night averaging 15.9 points per game, fourth in the conference. Wonder Boys have again done a great defensive job on him. Wilson banks it off the glass, no good. Defensive rebound to Sean Davidson of Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys again could tie it with a three. We haven't seen a point in this game in almost three minutes. And we won't see one here as the Wonder Boys throw it away. The 11th turnover for Arkansas Tech. We've had 29 turnovers and 24 made field goals in this game by the two teams combined. Mike Bauer will make the inbound pass for Southern Naz. Mo Wilson and Ian Moat are out for the Crimson Storm. Devon Jackson is back in, as is Nick Davis. Eight minutes and 32 seconds to go. Crimson Storm with the ball and still a 37-34 lead. They lead despite the fact that Southern Nazarene has missed five consecutive field goal tries. Devon Jackson throws it right side for Magai. Three-pointer is too strong. Tip try by Bauer, no good. Nick Davis gets the offensive rebound. And on the third shot of the possession, Davis is fouled. Darrell Roberts called for his second personal foul. Team foul number seven. And Nick Davis to the free throw line, where he is two out of two so far tonight. Davis has six points and eight rebounds, now nine rebounds in the game. Helping Southern Nazarene to a 34 to 19 rebounding edge. First free throw is up and good. will have another try. Yeah. Some people may be tuning in online and thinking they're watching a WWE wrestling match. It is uh, physical to say the least. But unlike that, this is real. <laughs> I hope I didn't break anybody's heart. For that. Nick Davis made the first free throw. The second one is good. And it's 39-34. Into the front court comes Arkansas Tech. Cade Schaefer hands it off right wing for Taylor Peters. Now Gosnell with it, passes to Peter on the right side, sidesteps the defender, misses the three. Rebound Nico Gosnell, a rare offensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Let's see what the Wonder Boys can do with it. Drive by Deshaun Davidson, behind the back dribble, spin move, layup wouldn't go, but Deshaun was fouled and he will shoot two free throws when we come back. Seven minutes and 51 seconds remaining in Russellville. Southern Nazarene, 39, Arkansas Tech, 34, from the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family-owned business, and they take care of their customers like family, too. So remember, your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you can always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Scott. And I'm Corey. And we're the TreeWise Tree Guys. Tree work experts based in Russellville, Arkansas. If you have a problem tree that you'd like removed, trimmed, or otherwise dealt with, we're the guys to call. If you're looking for the best, look no further. We're the highest rated in the area. A five-star rating on Google. Give Jayla a call today, 479-222-0793. That's 479-222-0793. Tree wise, tree guys. Seven minutes and 51 seconds remaining at Tucker Coliseum. Southern Nazarene 39, Arkansas Tech 34. Both teams have three timeouts remaining. If the possession arrow becomes a factor, it will favor Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys have committed seven team fouls in the second half, and so Southern Nazarene is already in the bonus. Four team fouls against the Crimson Storm. They've got two to give before they put Arkansas Tech into the one and one. Yep. Just went final in Searcy. Oklahoma Baptist hangs on for a 
64 to 62 win to make two free throws with 11 seconds to go. Now the Bison men and women will make their way to Russellville for a 1 and 3 p.m. doubleheader against Arkansas Tech on Saturday afternoon. Hope you'll join us here at the Coliseum on that occasion. If you can't make it, we will, of course, have the broadcast here on KCJC 102.3 FM as well as ArkansasTechSports.com. Deshaun Davidson made the first free throw. The second try is up. It is also good. And those are the first two points for Arkansas Tech in four minutes and 51 seconds. Cuts the Southern Nazarene lead to 39-36. Pretty remarkable. You can go almost five minutes in the middle of the second half without a point and still be in the game. That's how good Arkansas Tech's defense has been. Full court pressure. Southern Nazarene over the timeline after a near turnover over in front of the Arkansas Tech bench. Passes on the right wing for Jalen Lynn. Now Ian Moat with it. Moat guarded by Taylor Peter. Goes right, got a pick from Magai. Gives to Jalen Lynn. Lynn with the basketball on the right wing. Five to shoot. Gives to Javon Jackson. Jackson spin move. Goes around his defender and hits the floater. Ten footer down the right side of the lane for Javon Jackson. And Javon Jackson has simply been the difference in the game. He's got 21 points. Drive by Deshaun Davidson. Loses the handle. Fights to get it back. Held ball, possession arrow favors Arkansas Tech, and so the Wonder Boys will get to keep it with 7.08 remaining as the loose ball forces them to give away the arrow for the next time around. Cade Schaefer will throw it in from the baseline with 21 on the timer. Arkansas Tech just 4 of 16 from the field in the second half, 25%, including 0 for 6 from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. Cade Schaefer to Darrell Roberts, three-pointer, no good. Another miss from beyond the arc. Arkansas Tech now 5 of 18 from three-point range for the game, including 0 for 7. What is that? 0 for, yeah, 0 for 7 in the second half. Left side, Javon Jackson with the basketball for Southern Nazarene. Davis sets a pick. Jackson goes right, 12 on the shot clock. Pass to Lynn, back to Jackson, 8 on the timer. Javon Jackson gives to Magai. They lob it down low for Nick Davis. Davis spins. Layup try short. Rebound. Fought for it. Davis got his own rebound. And on the second try, he is fouled. Southern Nazarene has been just a little bit tougher. The Wonder Boys have been tough. Southern Nazarene has been just a little bit tougher around the rim here tonight. Yeah, making a difference in close games like this. Foul on Arkansas Tech is team foul number eight. I think the only thing I haven't seen tonight is one of those really good headlights. The personal foul was assessed to Talon Peter. It's his second. Now it'll be two free throws for Nick Davis, who is four out of four at the free throw line, and Davis, if he can make both of these free throws, would secure a double-double. He already has two of those this season. First free throw up and good for his ninth point of the night to go along with 10 rebounds. Wes Harris replaces Nico Gosnell for Arkansas Tech. Second try forthcoming for Nick Davis with 631 remaining. Davis ready with the second try. It is on its way and it is no good. Wes Harris has the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys need to get something going offensively. Arkansas Tech has missed four consecutive field goal tries, haven't made a field goal in over five minutes. Bounce pass stolen by Javon Jackson. Wonder Boys with their 12th turnover, six here in the second half. Now a reach-in foul by Deshaun Davidson, fouling Javon Jackson 24 feet from the basket. Deshaun Davidson picks up his third. Team foul number nine, and so this will be the final one and one of the game for Southern Nazarene. And it'll be attempted by Javon Jackson, who has 21 points on the night. He is three out of four at the free throw line. The front end is up and good for Javon Jackson, the 76% free throw shooter on the year. Second try forthcoming as he earns the second try. It is no good, and Darrell Roberts has the defensive rebound. Darrell Roberts, Cade Schaefer, Taylor Peter, Wes Harris, and Andre Lavelle. Now the five for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys down by seven and looking for their first field goal in six minutes. Andre Lavelle, bounce pass for Peter. Taylor goes to the rim, draws a foul, and it'll be two free throws for Taylor Peter. At the A Better Way Realty free throw. 
somehow it's only his first personal foul. Funny how those add up sometimes. Or sometimes how they don't. Well, not he, saying, he's just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Get not, that foul. not saying it's right or wrong, just as, as physical a game as it's been, as much a part as big a part as he's been of it, it's like the credit to him that he's been able to make it this far without committing a foul. Dalen Peter misses the first one. He'll have another try. Dalen's first trip to the free throw line tonight. He is a 75% free throw shooter this year, 78% for his career. Dalen trying to extend a streak of scoring in double figures, and he does it with his 10th point of the game. This is the 11th consecutive game in which Dalen Peter has reached double figures in scoring. Came into the night tied for 7th in the league in scoring at 14.9 points per game. Five minutes and 50 seconds remaining. 43-37 is the Southern Nazarene advantage after Taylor and Peter went one out of two at the free throw line. Peter, the lone wonder boy in double figures so far tonight. Although Darrell Roberts is knocking on the door. Drive by Javon Jackson, and he gets the runner in the lane to go. Jackson beat his defender off the dribble, and nobody stepped up to help defensively. That left Javon Jackson alone in the lane. He now has 24 points. Wonder Boys now almost six and a half minutes without a made field goal. Wonder Boys last made field goal came with 11.42 remaining. Feed down low for Wes Harris. Stripped away from him. He was able to save it out to Schaefer. Three-pointer. Got it! Cade Schaefer with a huge Mr. Break and Lube three-pointer with exactly five minutes to go from deep in the right corner. And the Wonder Boys call timeout. Four minutes and 58 seconds remaining. Southern Nazarene 45, Arkansas Tech 40. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys basketball. Farmers Co-op located in Russellville. Don't forget their gamble location. Mike Apples along. Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is, and uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animal's needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op, we're located on the East Main of Russellville. Don't forget their gamble location. Fowler's Athletes Corner, your high-performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel, features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kavu, Keen, and many, many more. Fowler's invites you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined experience, the familiar faces at Fowler's can help you with all your athletic needs. Fowler's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. Four minutes and 58 seconds remaining at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Southern Nazarene 45, Arkansas Tech 40. Crimson Storm on the next Arkansas Tech foul will go into the double bonus. Southern Nazarene still has a foul to give before it puts Arkansas Tech into the one and one. Possession arrow would favor Southern Nazarene if it became a factor. The Wonder Boys now have two timeouts left. Southern Nazarene has three. Arkansas Tech will employ full court pressure. Mo Wilson, Javon Jackson, Mike Bauer, Jalen Lynn, and Ian Moat, the five for the Crimson Storm. Cade Schaefer, Andre Lavelle, Taylor Peter, Darrell Roberts, and Wes Harris for Arkansas Tech. A little bit of a different look on the press this time, a little 2-2-1 look from Arkansas Tech. Southern Nazarene able to beat it into the front court. Left side, Javon Jackson on the dribble. Shot clock at 16. Jackson goes right. Zips it down low, pass batted away, out of bounds by Wes Harris. The Crimson Storm will maintain possession. 12 on the clock. Four minutes and 40 seconds left in regulation. We've already seen one overtime game here tonight. But a second to be in the offense. Wonder Boys will need to come back in order to make that happen. Southern Nazarene has been able to hang on to the lead throughout this second half despite several efforts by Arkansas Tech to tie it up or take the lead. Mike, or me, Mo Wilson receives the entry pass and lays it up and in. Reverse layup by Mo Wilson. Makes it 47-40 Southern Nazarene. Cade Schaefer, who hit that big three a moment ago, dribbles on the right wing, defended by Moat. Tries to get downhill with the dribble drive. A foul is called against Southern Nazarene for the arm bar. Ian Moat picks up his second personal foul. Team foul number six, and 
So the next one will put Arkansas Tech into the one and one. Inbound pass, Cade Schaefer. Schaefer looking, gives to Taylor Peter on the left wing. Taylor Peter defended by Javon Jackson. One dribble, then a pass to Darrell Roberts. Roberts drives the basket, can't finish the layup. Defensive rebound by Southern Nazarene's Mike Bauer. Four minutes to play. Southern Nazarene with the ball and a seven point lead at 47 to 40. Arkansas Tech and Southern Nazarene, both 5 of 18 from the field, 28% here in the second half. Left side, Javon Jackson with it. Dribbles right. Gives it up on the wing for Mo Wilson. Shot clock at 2. Wilson steps back for 3. Short. And a shot clock violation committed by Southern Nazarene. And I believe we'll take us to our final media timeout of the game. Three minutes and 34 seconds remaining in Russellville. Southern Nazarene 47, Arkansas Tech 40. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. First Aid Bank is proud to serve our community. A community made of hardworking friends and neighbors. Folks who make our community better. You're why we offer personal, helpful service and convenient digital tools. You make our town what it is, deeply rooted, community-driven. First State Bank, these are our stones. Visit fsbmybank.com to learn more. Member FDIC. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in like number one selling Kubota BX and L-Series compact tractors, Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut, and sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. Well, Kelly, this has been a little case of the old uh, blood from a turnip. It doesn't go very well, and it's just been no. tough. All night long for Arkansas Tech to get anything going offensively. We'll see if the Wonder Boys can find a little magic here in the final 334, trailing 47 to 40. Still very much within reach. It's yeah, just been so possession. yeah, just so yeah. tough to get anything going offensively. That Southern Naz, you have to give them credit. Play good defense. Tommy Comrade, Cade Schaefer, Talon Peter, Wes Harris, and Andre Lavelle are the five on the floor. Schaefer. Low pass from Andre Lavelle goes off Schaefer's foot and out of bounds. Arkansas Tech with its 13th turnover. That hurt. Ball goes right back to Southern Nazarene out of the timeout. Inbound pass for Javon Jackson. Jackson guarded by Andre Lavelle, and Lavelle fouled him. That'll be Andre's third. And it'll be two shots for Javon Jackson as Southern Nazarene is now in the double bonus. Jackson, four out of six at the line. Possible we're going to get in the last three and a half minutes of this game, and he'll start calling everything. First free throw try, no good for Javon Jackson. Jackson had 23 a week ago against Washita, and now he has 25 tonight. That is a new career high for Javon Jackson. He makes one out of two at the free throw line, and with 320, it is 48 to 40, an eight-point lead for Southern Nazarene. Still just three possession game. Into the front court come the Wonder Boys. Right side, Taylor Peter drives the basket. Layup good and a foul. That might be the spark for the Wonder Boys. Taylor Peter driving in from the right wing for the layup, and he draws the foul with 3.13 to go. Foul on Nick Davis, his second. Team foul number seven. B.J. Johnson in. Deshaun Davidson out for Arkansas Tech. And now Taylor Peter to the free throw line where he is one out of two the A Better Way Realty free throw line so far tonight. A chance to cut the Southern Nazarene lead down to five points. His free throw is good. And it's 48-43 Southern Nazarene. Full court pressure by Arkansas Tech. Tyler McGuire gets it into Ian Moat. Moat bounce pass across to Javon Jackson. Jackson over the timeline to Jalen Lynn. Lynn able to track down a loose ball. Then saves it to Javon Jackson. Three minutes remaining. Southern Nazarene with the ball at a 48 to shot clock at 14. Javon Jackson gives to McGuy. McGuy dribbles right. Harris switches onto him. Shot clock at seven. McGuy wants to drive to the baseline. 
still has his dribble. Fadeaway jumper from 14 feet is short. Cade Schaefer gets the defensive rebound. Wonder Boys in transition. Ahead to Peter. Back to Schaefer. Now Arkansas Tech will run a half-court set with 2.33 to go. Wonder Boys trail by five. Schaefer gets the high ball screen. Leaves it with Comrade. Comrade uses his dribble. Gives it right back to Schaefer. Schaefer looks to penetrate. Cut off by Moat. Moat tried to poke it away. Shot clock at eight. Schaefer goes left. Gives it to B.J. Johnson. Johnson to the rim. Layup was short, but B.J. was fouled, and he will shoot two shots from the A Better Way Realty free throw line with two minutes and 16 seconds remaining, and the Wonder Boys trailing by five. Nick Davis's third personal is team foul number eight. And B.J. Johnson to the free throw line for the first time tonight. B.J. on the season, nine of 14, 64%. At the A Better Way Realty free throw line, he makes the first one. Nothing but net for Johnson, a career 58% free throw shooter. B.J. came in with five assists and just one turnover in his last two games. Made the first free throw. Made the second free throw. Two things of beauty there from B.J. Johnson. He's got four points. The Wonder Boys have scored the last five, and the Southern Nazarene lead is down to three at 48-45. Full court pressure. Crimson Storm can't get it in. They call timeout. Two minutes and 16 seconds remaining. Southern Nazarene 48, Arkansas Tech 45. At the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we break for 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys Basketball. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home-styled lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that wouldn't even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurant on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you to so come on by Old South. Two minutes and 16 seconds remaining. Southern Nazarene 48, Arkansas Tech 45. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. Arkansas Tech faces the potential jeopardy of one more one and one. After that, both teams will be in the double bonus. Should the possession arrow become a factor? I couldn't tell you because the Southern Nazarene player standing right in front of it. It would favor the Crimson Storm. Tyler McGuy gets it inbounds to Javon Jackson across to Ian Moat. Now over the timeline with the pass to Jalen Lynn. Wonder Boys look to trap Lynn. He passes out of it to Moat. Now on to Javon Jackson. Two minutes and three seconds remaining. Southern Nazarene with the ball and a three-point lead. Jackson defended by B.J. Johnson. Johnson plays with four fouls. Javon Jackson looks to drive. Throws it in the corner for Jalen Lynn. Three-pointer is no good. Long rebound. Tracked down by Taylor Peter. Peter into the front court. Gives it to Cade Schaefer. The Wonder Boys could tie it with a three. A minute 41 left. Schaefer, defended by Moat, gets a pick from Wes Harris, gives to Comrade. Comrade passes to B.J. Johnson, left corner. Johnson dribbles up to the wing, gives top of the key Schaefer. Schaefer fakes right, goes left. They run a blitz at Schaefer. He gives to Peter, eight to shoot. On to B.J. Johnson. Johnson left-handed dribble drive to the rim. Shot up, good! B.J. Johnson with six points. A minute 20 remaining, and the Wonder Boys trail by a single point at 48 to 47. Full court pressure on the inbound. They get it into Javon Jackson, and Southern Nazarene calls timeout. One minute and nine seconds remaining. Southern Naz leads 48-47 at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball. Heinz Finn and Son Incorporated reminds you when you need new tires or auto repairs, Heinz Finn and Son has a well-trained staff to treat you like family. And their goal is always on customer service. It's the foundation of their business, which is why so many people in the River Valley call Heinz Finn and Son their tire shop. Find Heinz Finn and Son on Facebook. Check out their reviews and call 880-1222 to make an appointment today. Heinz Finn and Son, serving the River Valley for over 30 years and counting. One minute and nine seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech on a seven to nothing run. They have held Southern Nash out a point for over two minutes. And as a result, a seven to nothing run by Arkansas Tech and Southern Nazarene now with the ball. One minute and nine seconds remaining. The Crimson Storm just has one timeout left. And they are having a lot of trouble against this full court pressure from Arkansas Tech. Well, worst case scenario is, let them, is giving up a three point play. They only 
to make two. It's still a one possession game. Full court pressure. Southern Nazarene methodically making their way down floor. They get over the timeline with a second to spare. Now Javon Jackson will dribble on the Tech logo at midcourt. 15 to shoot. 55 seconds left in regulation. Southern Nazarene with the ball and a one-point lead. Javon Jackson, defended by Cade Schaefer, goes right, picks up his dribble, feeds for Nick Davis. He fumbles it away. Johnson saves it into Peter. Here come the Wonder Boys. Into the front court, Cade Schaefer. Schaefer circles around, gives to Johnson, and timeout taken by Arkansas Tech. 36.5 seconds remaining. Southern Naz leads 48-47. Back to the Alethus Realty broadcast position in 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys basketball. This is Todd, market president with Centennial Bank. We're more than just a financial institution. We pride ourselves on being community focused and connected. Hi, I'm Charlie, business development officer with Centennial Bank. As a lifelong resident of the River Valley, I am proud to be part of a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our communities. Supporting our community starts with people like myself and Charlie, who know and love the River Valley area, which is why we're always banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. MMLS number 5642 Central Arkansas, FDIC. 36.5 seconds remaining. Southern Nazarene 48, Arkansas Tech 47. Wonder Boys with the basketball. Both teams have one timeout left. If the possession arrow becomes a factor, it will favor Southern Nazarene. And Arkansas Tech will throw it in from the far sideline with 36.5 seconds remaining. Down by one. Arkansas Tech has only held one lead in, that, in this game. That was at 3-1 to one with 17 minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Southern Nazarene led 28 to 25 at halftime, and they have never relinquished the lead in the second half. There have been a number of occasions where the Wonder Boys have gotten within two or three or one. Southern Nazarene has not led by more than eight points here in the second half. The Wonder Boys have stayed close throughout this second half, but have not been able to get over the hump yet. Will this be Arkansas Tech's moment with 36.5 seconds remaining, down by one? Inbound pass for Cade Schaefer. Schaefer, defended by Jalen Lynn. Goes to the right wing, hands it off to Taylor and Peter. Shot clock at 17, 28 seconds left in regulation. Peter wants to drive, and he was fouled by Javon Jackson. Javon Jackson called for his third personal foul. It is team foul number... Correction, that is four on Javon Jackson. And that is the ninth team foul, and so this will be a one-and-one one opportunity for Taylor and Peter. Taylor is two out of three at the Better Way Realty free throw line tonight. He steps to the line with 25.9 seconds remaining and a chance with this first free throw to tie the score and earn a chance to give the Wonder Boys the lead with the second. The front end of the one and one is good for Taylor Peter. A clutch free throw for his 14th point of the night. And for the first time in the second half, Southern Nazarene does not hold the lead. We are tied at 48. The second try by Taylor Peter. Also good, and for the first time since the opening moments of the game, Arkansas Tech leads 49-48. It's a 9-0 run for the Wonder Boys. Full court pressure, 23 seconds left. Southern Naz down by one. Moat throws it over the timeline to Jalen Lynn. The Crimson Storm has one timeout left if they need it. Left side, Javon Jackson. They're going to play it out. 10 seconds left. Javon Jackson gives to Magai. Magai wants to drive. Eight-footer off to the right, and then it's no good. Defensive rebound, Taylor Peter with 2.4 seconds left. Tyler McGuy couldn't get it to go. An unfriendly roll off the iron for McGuy. Defensive rebound, Taylor Peter, and with 2.4 seconds remaining, the Wonder Boys are going to the free throw line to shoot two. It'll be two attempts at the A Better Way Realty free throw line for Taylor Peter, and the Wonder Boys have a chance to steal this one after trailing almost the entire game. Taylor and Peter shooting two. First one on its way and good. 16th point of the night for Taylor and Peter. He's five out of six at the line. Now with 2.4 seconds remaining, the second try. On its way and also good. Timeout Southern Nazarene. 2.4 seconds left and 11 to nothing run for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys lead 51 to 48. Timeout Southern Naz back in 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball.
actuallyair.com. You just download the one you want. Actuallyair.com. Fast and they're good and they got it going on. Technician showed up the very same day. Dick's writing fast, he was on his way. Next time you need a break, now give a call. There's only one choice. Actuallyair.com. Four seconds remaining in regulation. Arkansas Tech 51, Southern Nazarene 48. Crimson Storm will have the basketball following the timeout. Head coach Adam Bohatch right now drawing up the play to try to get a look at a three to tie this thing and send it to overtime. The Wonder Boys in their huddle discussing strategy. Do you foul right here before they even attempt a three and prevent that opportunity? We'll see how the Wonder Boys elect to play it defensively. Wes Harris, Tommy Comrad, Taylor Peter, Cade Schaefer, and B.J. Johnson are the five on the floor. With Arkansas Tech leading 51 to 48, the Wonder Boys have held them without a point for three minutes and 22 seconds. Mo Wilson will make the inbound for Southern Nazarene. With 2.4 seconds left and the Wonder Boys leading by three, Wilson runs the baseline. Looking out near midcourt, lobs it. It is out of bounds, and it'll be Arkansas Tech's basketball. Out of bounds on the far sideline, and now with 2.1 seconds remaining, if the Wonder Boys can just get the ball inbounds, they will almost certainly win this game. It is going to be inbounded on Arkansas Tech's offensive end of the floor because nobody touched the basketball. Now Adam Bohatch arguing that Taylor Peter touched it before it went out of bounds. And I believe one he of the... Wants to, he wants them to look at it. Does he want them to look at it or does he want a free timeout? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It, it could make a fairly significant difference, especially in the event of an Arkansas Tech turnover as to where this ball is inbounded. So they will take a look at it on the monitor and determine whether or not, based upon just the body language and when the whistle came, I really felt like the pass landed out of bounds and then yeah. Taylor touched it. Was, was the way I saw it, but I obviously don't have a very good angle on it from over here. 2.4 seconds remaining, Arkansas Tech 51, Southern Nazarene 48, and the Wonder Boys will have the basketball. The only question is now, where will Arkansas Tech inbound it from? Will it be from down just on Southern Nazarene's end of the floor, or will it be on the Arkansas Tech offensive end? All three officials looking at the replay monitor. And let's see what they have decided. It's Arkansas Tech's basketball either way. And the officials are indicating that. Yeah, I think he was wanting the free timeout. I think he, yeah, that's what, exactly what he got. He did Adam Bohatch. That's, hey, that's, that's playing the game. And so Arkansas Tech will throw it in from the baseline. Ball was not tipped is, is the indication we get from the officials. It went out of bounds without ever being touched. That's why the Wonder Boys get to throw it in on their offensive end. Up by three with 2.4 seconds left. Just got to find a way to cleanly get it in bounds. Schaefer looking. Gets it into Comrade. Comrade fouled in the right corner with 1.5 seconds left. And if Tommy can make one of the two free throws from the A Better Way Realty free throw line, which he is about to be awarded, then Arkansas Tech will steal this game and hand Southern Nazarene its first conference loss of the season and end Southern Nazarene's eight-game winning streak. Tommy Comrade to the free throw line where he is one out of two tonight. The Wonder Boys. An admirable 13 out of 19, 68% at the free throw line tonight, including 11 out of 13, 85% in the second half. Tommy Comrade to put it away with one of these two free throws. The first try is good. He rattles it home, and that'll do it. The Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys are going to knock off the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm, a team that was knocking on the door of the top 25 the NCAA Division II level. They will see their eight-game winning streak come to an end here tonight. Both free throws good for Comrade, 53-48. Southern Nazarene will throw it in with 1.7 seconds remaining. Jalen Lynn runs the baseline, throws it out near midcourt, stolen by Wes Harris, and that's the ball game. And the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys with a 13-0 run over the final three minutes and 13 seconds have defeated Southern Nazarene, and the Wonder Boys are tied for first place in the Great American Conference.
after this 53 to 48 win from the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we will pause 30 seconds and then talk it over with Coach Downey. Wonder Boys win. Wonder Boys are in first place. This is Arkansas Tech basketball. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. Back with you at the Alathus Realty broadcast position where the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys with a memorable comeback down the stretch, outscoring Southern Nazarene 13 to 0 over the final three minutes and 13 seconds. We said it when Talon had that three-point play with 313 remaining. Maybe that would be the spark that Arkansas Tech needed, and it turns out that was exactly the case as then B.J. Johnson stepped up with some huge plays, and the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys win this one by a final score of 53 to 48 and we are joined now by Mark Downey head coach of the Wonder Boys following this five point win and coach I haven't been able to ask you a question like this in about 13 years how does it feel to be in first place in the conference standings wow I <laughs> I don't know how that just happened because that was about I think we set the sport of basketball back about 25 years um, <laughs> offensively but man Gritty, 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 gritty. Uh, just kept fighting. Um, you know, this team's starting to take on my personality a little bit, and uh, that's what I've been fighting for for three years. So, uh, fun win. Fun win for sure. It was 48 to 40 with three and a half minutes left. Talon took his man off the dribble, went in, got an and one, and that three point play was really the spark that got you going offensively finally. Yeah, and the pressure all night bothered him. You know, if we just finish around the rim. Um, you know, the game's probably a different story, but they do such a good job of being physical with their legs and their lower body, and, and they just protect the rim. And that's where I want to get with our guys. We want to, we got big athletes back there. We want to be better at that too. But, um, you know, finally made some big free throws down the stretch, Taylor and Tommy, BJ. Yes. Um, you know, it's great to have those guys in the program. We weren't very good offensively, but, uh, heck, we just found a way to win. B.J. was huge down the stretch. Two free throws with 2.16 left. Had a little five-footer in the lane with a minute 20 left that cut it to one. And then the two free throws that Talon hit with 25.9 seconds left put you in the lead. That was set up earlier. B.J. had a little save down here on the other end. Just a little loose ball on the baseline. Saved yeah. inbounds to Talon. That might have been the play of the game. Yeah, yeah, and I think West got his hand on it. They tried to ISO uh, the big kid, 21, Davis, in the, in the middle, and he fumbled it, and West hit it, and it bounced around, and B.J. picked it up and saved it. So, um, a lot of big plays. A lot of nice to see us shoot 15 of 21 from the line after being two for six in the first half. Um, you know, and just to be able to force 22 turnovers—that's huge. And wish we had a little bit more depth to continue to do it all the time. But we got to turn around Saturday and play another team that really executes their stuff. And uh, it's been nice getting to get to see them because I know Brittany Tech has been really good against them. Well, coach, that is now eight wins in the last nine games. It's quite a run that this team is on. And you just really admire the way that they they stick with it, and they just continue to get better week over week. And if they can keep doing that, uh, there's a pretty high ceiling for this group right now. I think so too. I really do. You know, I, I really do. And they're they're really trying to buy in, and it's been fun to coach. You know, we have our ups and downs like everybody else, but uh, I'm just gracious to God that uh, I get to coach them. It's fun. First place, Arkansas Tech one score. That sounds pretty good. We'll see you on Saturday. Thank you. That I'll is Mark for sure. The head men's basketball coach. Yes. Hey, yes. if you went out oh, to yes. if you went out to your car and you turned the radio on, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I was begging people to come to the game, giving away tickets. Um, thank you so much for coming to support us. It's only going to get better and better. I hope you enjoyed that ugly basketball. Yes. I hope you enjoyed our effort and you come back on Saturday. Hopefully it'll be a little prettier then. Yes, for sure. But the same result. Don't really care about what's pretty no, or not. Just the same Wins result. Win, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting us. We greatly appreciate it. We are so grateful. Thank you, Mark. That is Mark Downey, the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech, following a 53-48 to win by the Wonder Boys that included a 13 to nothing run by Arkansas Tech over the final three minutes and 13 seconds.
Let's take a look at the final numbers. Southern Nazarene was 14 of 42 from the field tonight, 33%. It's 39% wins, which is that sign that hangs in the Wonder Boys locker room in terms of field goal percentage defense. It's 39% wins, 33%. Sure enough, got it done tonight as well. Five out of 15, 33% from three-point range for the Crimson Storm. And Southern Naz was 15 of 19, 79% at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech, 16 of 45 from the field tonight, 36% including 6 of 19 from the Mr. Break and Lube three-point arc. That's 32%. And the Wonder Boys did work at the free throw line in the second half. 15 of 21, 71% at the A Better Way Realty free throw line for the game. But in the second half, as Coach Downey referenced, 13 out of 15, 87%, including some clutch free throws down the stretch by B.J. Johnson, Kalen Peter, and Tommy Comrade to put this one away as the Wonder Boys win it 53-48. to 48. Arkansas Tech today was out-rebounded by 13, a 38-25 to 25 rebounding edge for Southern Nazarene. But the Wonder Boys made up for that in the turnover margin. Arkansas Tech plus 9 on the turnover margin tonight, 13 turnovers for Tech, 22 turnovers in this ball game for Southern Nazarene. The Wonder Boys finished with a 19-11 to 11 advantage in points off of turnovers, also a 23-4 to 4 edge in points off the bench for the Wonder Boys in this one. Individual leaders, first for Southern Nazarene, Devon Jackson. My goodness, that young man is a pretty special. A freshman out of Houston, Texas. And he said, you know, I know the rest of this year and three more years after three that. Three more years of that. He is pretty good. 25 points, a career high tonight for Javon Jackson on 8 of 12 shooting from the floor, including 4 of 5 from three-point range. And he was 5 out of 8 at the free throw line. He also had 5 rebounds and 2 assists. Javon Jackson was the star for Southern Nazarene tonight in a losing effort. 9 points and 10 rebounds for Nick Davis, who finishes just one point shy of his third double-double of the year. Five points for Tyler McGuy as the Wonder Boys continue to be the kryptonite for Tyler McGuy. And first team all-conference pick as a freshman last year and setting and just burning the league up again this year. McGuy came in averaging on the season 15.9 points per game, fourth in the league. The Wonder Boys locked him down tonight, two out of ten from the field for McGuy, including a missed shot there late in the game to help the Wonder Boys escape with this victory. Three points for Ian Moat and then two points apiece for Jalen Lynn, Mike Bauer, and Bo Wilson. For Arkansas Tech, Kalen Peter led the way. Kalen into double figures in scoring for the 25th time in his Arkansas Tech career. And he had 17 points tonight. He was 6 out of 7 at the free throw line. Also 6 rebounds tonight for Kalen Peter. 9 points for Darrell Roberts. 7 points in the ball game for Tommy Comerad. Also 5 rebounds for Comerad. 5 points tonight for Cade Schaefer, including a big 3-pointer. It would be easy to forget that in all of this, but... The Wonder Boys were more or less dead in the water with five minutes left, trailing by eight, unable to get anything going. And then it was Schaefer who hit that three-pointer right at the five-minute mark that cut it to 45-40. to 40. That was kind of the preliminary spark that led to the, the later spark on the three-point play by Taylor Peter. Uh, Kate Schaefer with five points in the ball game. Deshaun Davidson had four points for Arkansas Tech. Wes Harris had three, two points, three rebounds, two assists tonight for Andre Lavelle. Nico Gosnell also appeared in the game for Arkansas Tech. Surely I didn't overlook because I was trying to sort out this thing. Uh, B.J. Johnson and his six points, but I want to say it twice it, rather than saying it zero times. Six points tonight for B.J. Johnson, and he was special down the stretch. And the Wonder Boys with that improbable 13 to nothing run over the final three-plus minutes win it. Our final score in the men's game, Arkansas Tech 53, Southern Nazarene 48, and one more time, the Wonder Boys are tied for first place in the Great American Conference standing. Speaking of the GAC standing, Here's Kelly with an updated look at things. Very quickly, here's your winners tonight. Your wonder boys. It was Oklahoma Baptist, Southern Arkansas, UA Monticello, Northwest Oklahoma, Washita Baptist. So with all those victories, we have now a tie for first place with your wonder boys, Southern Nazarene, and Southern Arkansas, all at 6-1. and one. Now at 5-2, and two, coming to Russellville on Saturday, is Oklahoma Baptist at four and three, Henderson State in Southeast Oklahoma, at three and four is Washita, two and five East Central, Southwest Oklahoma, and Northwest Oklahoma, and one and six UA Monticello and Parker. Look at all the standings and all the scores and everything that's coming up on Saturday. Go to GreatAmericanConference.com and pull up the schedules and the standings. See it for yourself. The Wonder Boys sitting on top.
but we experienced the full range of emotions here tonight at Tucker Coliseum. The disappointment of the overtime loss in the opening game as the Golden Suns fought valiantly but fell at overtime after Jaylee Oglesby fouled out as Southern Nazarene was able to win the women's game 77-70. And then the exhilaration in the nightcap as the Wonder Boys rallying late and our final score in the men's game, Arkansas Tech 53 and Southern Nazarene 48 as the Wonder Boys improved to 8-5 and five overall and 6-1 and one in the Great American Conference, tied for first place in the GAC men's basketball standings. The Golden Suns now 7-4 and four overall, 5-2 and two in the league, still very much in the thick of things on the women's side of GAC basketball. We want to send along special thanks to the athletics communications professionals from these two institutions, especially Daniel Gallegos and his outstanding crew here at Arkansas Tech University, as well as Eric Moyer from the GAC. All of those folks provided the facts and figures we were able to share with you here tonight. We thank them. Could not do it without them, nor could we do it without Stephen Berry, who did a great job, as always, as our chief studio engineer. And so we thank Stephen for sticking with us, especially on what turned out to be a little bit longer night than usual uh, due to the overtime game earlier tonight. We thank the many sponsors who make it possible, and thanks to you for listening. Our next broadcast of Arkansas Tech Athletics on River Valley Radio will come your way Saturday afternoon, 1 p.m. for the women, 3 p.m. for the men. Oklahoma Baptist will be the opponent. We hope that you'll join us in person here at Tucker Coliseum and right here on the radio at River Country KCJC and ArkansasTechSports.com. Until Saturday at 1 p.m., from my broadcast partner, Kelly Davis, I'm Sam Strasner reminding you that Jerry says, fight on. So long, everybody. Arkansas Tech University Basketball, brought to you by Alakis Realty. Buying or selling your home has never been easier. Call our friends at Alakis Realty. Retire Point S. No stress with Point S. ABC Children's Academy.